Chapter 3101 Chu Gan That person was shocked to find that heaven and earth had been split into three levels. Spastime time was severed, and time was no longer flowing normally. It felt as if he had provoked the entire world. In front of that power, he was as weak as an ant. As for Long Chen and the others, what they saw was three giant spheres of light appearing on the martial stage. The place where those three spheres overlapped was precisely where that person was. As the three spheres of light revolved, heaven and earth changed color, and space twisted chaotically. It was as if the world had folded on itself and was overlapping. This bizarre sight caused countless expressions to change. They had never seen such a terrifying phenomenon before. What kind of magical art is that? Spastime time is in chaos. Time is overlapping. This is absolutely terrifying. Everyone stared in shock. Bezaiol's opponent seemed to be struggling, but his movements were strange in their eyes. Sometimes he would be moving fast. Sometimes he would be moving slow. And sometimes multiple images of him would appear. He was like a fly caught in a spider web. And no matter how he struggled, he was unable to escape. At this moment, Bezaiol's hand seals were constantly changing, and the light in his eyes shone brightly. Meanwhile, the entire martial stage was shuddering. It began to crack, on the verge of collapse. Suddenly, everything came to a pause as the space inside the three spheres froze. Bezaiol's opponent was unable to even move now. He was shocked. Before this, he had at least been able to struggle. But now, space was pressing down on him from all directions. Even blinking his eyes was difficult. Do you admit defeat? Blink twice and I'll count it as giving up. Then I'll let you go. Said Bezaiol. Not good. As soon as he said this, everyone, including Beishishi, cried out. Bezaiol's opponent had clearly lost. And with great difficulty, he blinked twice. Seeing this, Bezaiol laughed and the three spheres of light slowly came undone. The spatial power faded. Die. Just as Bezaiol's spatial energy loosened, that person roared furiously. Free from the bindings, he slashed his blade at Bezaiol's head as quick as lightning. Having not expected this person to go back on his word, Bezaiol had no time to dodge. Hence, a sensation of death filled him. However, just as his opponent was about to kill him, the three flower pupils that had just faded instantly condensed once more. A ray of black light then shot out piercing that person's head and killing him. Bezaiol was bewildered. He didn't even know what had just happened. His three flower pupils had activated automatically. Bezaiol was sent back out. After that, Chin Feng angrily rebuked him. You fool. You actually had mercy on such a person. If it wasn't for boss, you'd be dead. At this time, three spheres of light slowly faded from within Long Chen's eyes. Only then did Bezaiol and the others understand. Long Chen's three flower pupils were connected to Bezaiol's, and it was Long Chen who had taken control of Bezaiol's three flower pupils at the last moment. This mysterious energy was actually able to work even through the formation. Everyone was still covered in cold sweat from that last moment. It had truly been dangerous. I was wrong. Bezaiol lowered his head. What people didn't expect was for the strict Long Chen to not criticize him. Instead, he patted him on the shoulder. Being wrong isn't something to be afraid of. As long as you know where you were wrong and don't make such a mistake again. Growth is the result of constantly making mistakes. When you make a mistake, you pay a price. And that's what makes you learn the lesson. This isn't your fault. You have always been in the academy with people protecting you. So you don't know the wickedness of other people's hearts. Remember, killing people sometimes isn't the result of right or wrong good or evil, it is simply because the other side wants to take your life, and if you want to live, you have to kill them, unless of course, you are so good and kind that you are willing to give up your own life for your opponent, people do need to have kindness in their hearts, but that also depends on who the target is, a person like that has accumulated the resentment of who knows how many innocent souls, your kindness toward him is foolishness, boss, I understand. I won't be so foolish again, said Bezaiol. Long Chen had dragged him back from the border of death, letting him understand just how foolish his actions just now were. Within the guilt and shame, for the first time, Bezaiol encountered the wickedness of the hearts of people. Long Chen nodded, 
Although Bezaiol had constantly been beaten as a child, his life had never been in danger. This lesson was definitely a good one for him. The reason Long Chen dared to have Bei Ziyol attend the Martial Dao Convention despite the latter's lack of experience was because their three flower pupils were connected. Hence, Long Chen had the ability to protect him. Furthermore, he found that when he activated the three flower pupils through Bei Ziyol, he was easily able to control his power. But when he used the three flower pupils himself, it would draw out the power of the purgatory eyes. Why that was the case was something he had yet to comprehend. It was no problem for him to help Bei Ziyol, but using them himself caused a huge backlash. Chin Feng also didn't say anything else since Bei Ziyol had accepted his mistake. But the Dragonblood warriors were all straightforward men, and so he was unable to say any comforting words to Bei Ziyol. It was Luo Xue and the others who consoled Bei Ziyol, letting him feel a bit better. Bei Ziyol had followed Qin Feng's pointers at the start. The more afraid he was, the more he had to face his opponent directly. It was because the later battles would only be more intense, and there was no time to take things step by step. The face slap was also suggested by Qin Feng. Bei Ziyol had done very well, and Qin Feng's vision was also very sharp. He had calculated that person's character and knew that this person would be enraged if Bei Ziyol seemed to stall until they were both eliminated. The anger was enough distraction for Bei Ziyol to find a chance to activate the three flower pupils. Against ordinary experts, Bei Ziyol's three flower pupils were more than enough. But against peak experts, in a battle where the blink of an eye spelled death, he still didn't have enough control over his three flower pupils to lock down his opponents. That was why Qin Feng had told him that he had to create an opportunity for himself. Even though there had been a mistake in the end, overall, Bei Ziyol had managed to overcome his fear of death in this battle. He had taken a huge step toward the ranks of peak experts. Although he lacked experience, his three flower pupils were truly powerful. He was entirely capable of standing shoulder to shoulder with primals. Next was young master Chang Chuan. His opponent was powerful. But after a few dozen exchanges, he was unable to even force young master Chang Chuan to use his manifestation. Hence, he directly admitted defeat. Young master Chang Chuan still obtained victory easily. Next was Long Chen, and Luo Xue warned him to be careful. Long Chen smiled. I would be careful toward others, but I have no need to be careful against the Chu family's people. Long Chen was sent into the martial stage. His opponent at least wasn't as ugly as the last member from the Chu family. Gazing at Chu Gan disdainfully, Long Chen smiled. That smile was very evil, very sinister, and very chilling. Chapter 3102 Chu Family's Four Heroes Long Chen With death at hand, you can still smile? Will I be seeing how you cry in a bit? Chu Gan sneered at Long Chen's smile. Your Chu family really is interesting. Ever since I entered the High Firmament Academy, you've been fighting to the death against me. Even though your teeth are scattered on the ground, you still manage to spout such big words with no sense of shame. Do you not feel that what's coming out of your mouth is nothing more than empty air? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. Idiot. Our Chu family has been enemies with the Luo family for generations. You are standing on their side. So you have become our undying enemy. This time. Even our Chu family's four heavenly geniuses have taken action, not to obtain the rewards but to kill you here, snorted Chu Gan. Not for the reward? That's because you can't obtain it. I really wonder, how is it that there is such a huge difference between your two families despite both being such large families? Just look at the names of the experts attending. The Luo family sent Luo Qing, Luo Xue, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning. Together, it's Qing, Xue. Bing, Ning, meaning clear as ice and clean as jade. Their names are a family lesson, to have them protect their bodies like jade and not be touched by dust. But then look at your Chu family's four heroes, Chu Gan, Chu Ren, Chu Zhen, and Chu Shuang. Together, it's Gan, Ren, Zhen, Shuang. Just how vile and dirty is that? There must be something wrong with your heads, said Long Chen. 1. Bei Shishi and the others laughed along with everyone else paying attention to their fight. As the champion of the Tao discussion convention, countless people were paying attention to him. 
but his mouth was truly skilled. People were paying attention to him due to the principles he had stated on the Tao discussion stage, and they wanted to see if his fists were as powerful as his words. As a result, countless people were laughing, and those that weren't paying attention were quickly told what had happened and they laughed as well. Luo Ning and Lu Mingxuan were the most exaggerated, seeing Chu gone green with fury. Tears even came out of their eyes. Long Chen had actually linked their names together. Chu Gan was quivering with rage, his eyes scarlet. He seemed like a provoked beast. Long Chen, you've succeeded in infuriating me. Chu Gan's voice came from the cracks between his teeth. So what? What can you do other than bark like a dog? Your Chu family wouldn't even be able to compete against the Luo family if it wasn't for becoming someone else's dog. You might be used to being a dog, but you should remember that not everyone in this world is afraid of dogs, nor is everyone afraid of the dog's owner. For example, me. No matter whose dog you are, if you bare your teeth at me, I'll still knock those teeth out, sneered Long Chen. Whether it was because of the Chu family's enmity with his mother's family, or his own miserable days that were the result of Lord Brahma's dogs, Long Chen had no courtesy for these people. However, the Chu family didn't know that Long Chen's enmity with them was truly one with no rest until death. Just at this moment, the martial stage shook, the sign that the fight was about to commence. Long Chen, you have gods. Then let us swear to fight to the death. Turning this competition into a death match, Chu Gan roared and his blood chi erupted. Contained within it was terrifying flame energy. After that, a divine statue appeared behind him causing sacred might to descend upon this world. Even the martial stage's formation was unable to block it. Chu Gan had summoned his primal manifestation, and it was like he was possessed by a god. Up until now, no one had yet to unleash such power on the martial stage. Even the spectators, protected by the formation and at a great distance, felt as if his gaze could turn them to dust. That feeling was terrifying. Hence, everyone's smile vanished replaced with shock. Was this the true power of a primal? Luo Bing and the others couldn't help being worried. Although they knew that Long Chen was powerful, he wasn't a primal. How was he supposed to block this pressure of the heavenly deos? However, Long Chen's expression was calm. A divine ring slowly appeared behind him. Seeing it, the calm Chin Fun was finally moved. Finally, I get to see boss fight again. The seven-colored divine ring behind Long Chen spun. But in reality, only six colors were moving. One was static because it was only there to cover up that this was a six-color divine ring. Long Chen's own divine ring cast him in a sacred light. Although his black robes were in tatters, it didn't affect that wild arrogance that looked down on the rest of the world. Long Chen gave off a very steady feeling, as if even if the heavens collapsed, he would raise them, as if there was nothing in this world that he couldn't do. As his divine ring spun, no terrifying manifestation burst into existence, nor did an incredible aura erupt. But for some reason, rather than Chu Gan whose aura was bursting out like a volcano, it was the calm Long Chen that gave people the more terrifying feeling. Just at that moment, the barrier separating them vanished and Chu Gan's aura condensed to the peak. He shot out like a bolt of lightning, appearing in front of Long Chen in an instant. I heard that you specialize in power. Then I'll defeat you in your strongest area so that your fully convinced Chu Gan roared and his manifestation lit up. As a result, countless runes flowed around him, appearing like a set of golden battle robes. With a single punch, the formation shuddered and the void collapsed. A single punch caused countless people to cry out. Those are the Chu family's Titan blood runes. How can he condense so many? Luo Zhu's expression changed. The Luo family had a great deal of information on the Chu family and knew that they had a kind of bloodline divine ability to condense Titan blood runes that strengthened their physical bodies. But an ordinary disciple could only condense nine of them, and talented disciples would be able to condense a few dozen perhaps. But Chu Gan had thousands of them. His power had to have reached an unimaginable level. Luo Shue, Luo Qing, and the others' expressions changed. With the support of so many divine runes, who could block this attack? Just at this moment, Chin Feng disdainfully said, to compete with power against my boss, what a dream. Other than wild, who can compete with my boss? Boom. 
Just as he said this, Chu Gan's fist landed, shaking the martial stage. A fierce astral wind then unfurled. What was unbelievable though was that Long Chen was just standing there with one hand behind his back. He had received Chu Gan's fist with one hand. An ant dares to challenge a dragon? Truly laughable, snorted Long Chen. With his hand over Chu Gan's fist, he suddenly pressed him down. Boom. Chu Gan's expression changed. He felt like an entire world was pressing down on him. The martial stage beneath his feet cracked, the cracks spreading in every direction. At that moment, everyone watching their battle was shocked. Wan Ching, Xue, Bing, Ning equals equals pure, snow, ice, condensed. As for Gan Ren Zheng Shuang from the Chu family, how shall I put this? One of the Chinese characters was replaced with a different character for it. But it essentially means fucking people is great. Chapter 3103 Overestimating oneself Long Chen's divine ring slowly spun. His expression was calm as he met his enemy with a single hand. And yet that hand seemed to cover the entire world's power. Even as runes activated all over Chu Gan and his fist shook the stage. He was completely suppressed by Long Chen's hand. The martial stage cracked. And those cracks continued to spread further and further. The martial stage suddenly grew. It was its own world, and based on the power of the fighters on it, it could grow or shrink. There had already been a few battles during which the martial stage had grown to accommodate the experts fighting. However, it had grown slowly. Due to the power erupting from the fighters, the martial stage would constantly change. However, with this one palm, the martial stage instantly widened many times. This had yet to occur during this nine prefecture convention. The size of the martial stage was related to the power of the fighters on it. There was one thing that could be sure. The greater the martial stage grew, the more pressure it had to be under. This was a very simple way to measure a person's power. You are trying to defeat me in my strongest area by making me laugh to death with this pitiful power? I can't believe you were so shameless as to come out and embarrass yourself. Long Chen looked at Chu Gan oddly. During this time, he had been constantly increasing his realm. As his cultivation base grew, his physical body also rapidly strengthened. However, it had been a long time since he last used this power. Long Chen had always been dissatisfied with his physical power. No matter how it increased, it was unable to endure the power of the divine flame power of his 108,000 stars. Even Long Chen himself didn't know just how much stronger his physical body was compared to when he was in the Jilin Immortal Land. Just now, when Chu Gan had come at him so arrogantly, he had really thought that Chu Gan was very powerful. But this attack of his wasn't worth crap. Long Chen didn't know if Chu Gan was deliberately holding back or if he was really this weak. On the other hand, Chu Gan was shocked. He was born with immense divine power. In terms of pure physical power, amongst the Chu family's disciples, he could definitely be rated number one. The number of Titan blood runes that he condensed broke the record for the Chu family's disciples, and this feat made him one of the Chu family's most important successors. This fist, which he had originally thought would be enough to blow Long Chen wretchedly, was like a dragonfly trying to shake a pillar. It appeared incredibly weak. That was just a probing blow. Don't get too pleased so early. Chu Gan held his right shoulder with his left hand, and his runes erupted with power, seemingly ablaze. His blood chi soared. As he unleashed his power, the martial stage began to crumble. The next moment, a giant hole appeared and flying rubble filled the martial stage. Everyone paying attention to this side was stunned. How could a person's power rise to such a level? It had to be known that whether it was Long Chen or Chu Gan, they were purely competing with physical power. They weren't using magical arts or divine abilities, yet were able to unleash such immense power. This was something that many people had never seen before. Chu Gan then roared and a giant vortex of rubble began to fly. At the same time, the martial stage continuously expanded and the rubble whistled loudly. Seeing this, the people outside the arena grew nervous, afraid that the formation would break and the rubble would pierce through them. We're finally seeing real experts. Spending that fortune on this ticket was definitely worth it. Who knows how many people will never get to see a battle on this level in their lifetime? It was definitely worth it. Everyone was holding back before, so watching them wasn't the slightest bit satisfactory.
But now, he, the fights will only grow more intense. Countless disciples watching felt their blood heating up. They had precisely come to watch the battles between real experts. Long Chen and Chu Gan's battle was just what they wanted. Heavens, the martial stage is still expanding. The martial stage quickly doubled in size after their first clash. It seemed as if Chu Gan's power was limitless. However, even as they were shocked by Chu Gan's power, they realized that something was off. When the flying rubble slowly settled, they once more saw the two of them in their original posture. Long Chen was still holding Chu Gan back with a single palm, and no matter what Chu Gan did, he was unable to shake Long Chen in the slightest. At the same time, the martial stage beneath Chu Gan's feet was constantly breaking and repairing, breaking and repairing. The martial stage would repair itself after being damaged, and the rate of repair would also increase with the intensity of the battle. Moreover, for the waves of flying rubble to have been reduced meant that the martial stage was strengthening itself. The martial stage had now strengthened itself to the level of being able to endure Chu Gan's power. Heavens, what kind of monster is Long Chen? Everyone's jaw dropped. If they didn't know that Long Chen was the Chu family's mortal enemy, they would think that Chu Gan was cooperating with Long Chen to put on an exaggerated show. His current display was incredible. It was like an adult was bullying a baby. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is mighty. The High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered loudly, to the point that even their voices were hoarse. Although they knew that he couldn't hear them, this was the only way for them to unleash the emotions inside them. How many years had it been since the High Firmament Academy started to be bullied and turned into a joke by other powers? They called the Academy a rotten boat that had lost all the splendor of its former years. Moreover, when the High Firmament Academy's disciples arrived here, they clearly felt disdainful gazes from others. Today, they were finally showing their true power. Seeing those people shocked gazes, they felt it to be indescribably cathartic. Long Chen still stood there with one hand behind his back, facing Chu Gan expressionlessly. On the other hand, Chu Gan's face had already turned purple. Even as he did everything he could to push Long Chen back, he couldn't. It was like he was rooted into the stage. Are you constipated? I wouldn't relieve myself here, said Long Chen kindly. Just like that, Chu Gan coughed up blood, and his overwhelming power was thrown into chaos. The next moment, Long Chen's leg struck like lightning, hitting him in his abdomen. Chu Gan was sent flying. He then smashed into the ground, tumbling back and leaving large holes in the ground before smashing into the barrier and bouncing back. With such a blow, he had to have at least lost half his life. However, unexpectedly, he crawled back up. When people saw a certain object on his body, they became dumbfounded. What is that? Chapter 3104 Did I give you too much face? Long Chen's kick was so powerful that he broke Chu Gan's outer robes, revealing golden protective armor. What was strange about this armor was that it didn't cover his chest and back. Instead, it was protecting his crotch. From a distance, it looked like golden underwear, specialized in protecting the location for creating future generations. It was both shocking and comedic. That underwear possessed shocking divine power. It was actually a treasure item. Treasure items were extremely valuable and precious. But a treasure item in this form was something people had never seen before. The crowd was unaware that due to Chu Gan's immense power, his body had almost no weak points. His only fatal weak point was there. Thus, this pair of underwear was a treasure item specially made for him just in case people learned his weak point. This preparation was truly correct. If he hadn't had it, Long Chen's kick would have crippled his life rod. Even though this preparation had managed to protect his life rod, those dazzling underpants caused the crowd to involuntarily laugh after a moment of shock. Even Long Chen laughed. The world was truly large and filled with marvels. There was even such a treasure item. However, he quickly judged where Chu Gan's weakness lay. Chu Gan was infuriated and hastily took out new robes, covering his treasure. Long Chen, I'll make sure you die a miserable death today. Chu Gan formed hand seals, and divine runes appeared behind him. After that, sacred chanting filled the air. The sound of this chanting seemed to come from a distant past. As the ground rumbled, chains appeared in the air, piercing through the illusory and becoming real. 
Those chains pierced Chu Gan's body, turning him into a hedgehog. He was stabbed by hundreds of chains. Every single chain caused the runes on his body to grow brighter. His blood chi also grew explosively, and even his body grew. Those chains seemed to be connected to something providing him with endless energy. As the ground beneath his feet crumbled, strange runes appeared in his eyes. Overwhelming blood chi then scoured against the heavens. Everyone was shocked. Although his position in other people's minds had dropped because of the fight, his power was truly stunning. Every move he activated was more frightening than the last. Pair, realizing that your own power isn't enough, you rely on the outside world's power. These chains condensed of faith energy will have an immense burden on your body unless a huge amount of faith energy is sacrificed. Correct? This is a self-damaging skill. These chains might be able to provide you with endless power, but they also give you a fatal weakness. Long Chen shook his head at Chu Gan. Bullshit. I'll show you the destructive power that can be obtained when the Chu family's bloodline abilities are combined with the Divine Venerates. Chu Gan roared and the runes in his eyes expanded. He was like a blazing sun on the martial stage. His divine light so blinding that people had to turn away. After that, he charged forward, leaving a giant hole in the ground where he stamped down on. He shot at Long Chen like a meteor. What at this moment? People were shocked to find that the space in front of Chu Gan was twisting. The void was being deformed because of his power. Just what level of power has he reached? His power is compressing the void. If struck by this power, even with a treasure item protecting you, you would still be killed, said one person with a quivering voice. In front of this absolute power, even a treasure item would not be able to protect your life. After all, their realms were too low to fully control treasure items. They might be able to block a portion of this power, but the remaining power would invade their bodies. That was more than enough to smash them to pieces. Astral winds unfurled around Chu Gan, resulting in a long ditch in the ground wherever he passed. He appeared completely unstoppable. Try to receive this punch. Chu Gan roared and unleashed another punch. Streaks of light then appeared on his fist, which resulted in space compressing and swelling at the same time. What terrifying power. Even young master Chang Chuan was moved. Boom. Divine light exploded on the martial stage. A giant hole was smashed into the ground. However, shockingly, in the face of this punch, Long Chen only turned his body and easily dodged it just like that. Chu Gan repeatedly punched at him, every blow causing the stage to explode and creating a storm of rubble. But, he was never able to touch Long Chen. This is, people grew dumbfounded. With the hands clasped behind his back, Long Chen was dodging the punches with slight movements. However, Chu Gan was unable to even touch his shadow. I understand. This is the weakness that senior apprentice brother Long Chen mentioned. What is it? Look at how much Chu Gan's body has swelled. His power has grown, but his speed has dropped. This power isn't his own, so he can't control it perfectly. Furthermore, the immense power is causing space to compress. It's like he's moving through water. The greater his power, the greater the resistance. While it looks like Chu Gan has now taken the advantage, in truth, no matter how great his power is, it's useless if he can't even touch his opponent. Other than that, there's no way he can maintain such a state for long. As soon as his aura starts to drop, senior apprentice brother Long Chen will launch a killing blow. For this person to be able to see through the clues so quickly showed that his aptitude was very high. But for Long Chen to be able to tell this weakness even before Chu Gan had attacked, he was many times superior. So this person felt the utmost admiration for Long Chen's vision. As expected of the champion of the Tao discussion convention, he can instantly see through his opponent's weaknesses. After that person's explanation, others also felt even more admiration for Long Chen. In the current state, Long Chen was essentially in an unbeatable position. Such powerful attacks couldn't be maintained for long, and Chu Gan would definitely lose if this continued. Coward, did your father and mother only teach you how to dodge? Roared Chu Gan after failing to even touch Long Chen's sleeves after hundreds of attacks. All of a sudden, Long Chen attacked. A hand covered in dragon scales slammed into Chu Gan's face, sending him smashing into the ground. Did I give you too much face? 
Long Chen's icy voice resounded through the arena. Boom. Chu Gan smashed into the martial stage, leaving a giant hole in it. This sudden turn had people jumping out of their seats and crying out in shock. Chapter 3105 Treasure Item Bracers rumbling rang out and Long Chen's divine ring spun rapidly. A wild aura caused the world to shake. Long Chen's eruption came so suddenly that people had yet to react. Also, the power that Chu Gan had displayed appeared minuscule in front of him. Chu Gan was slapped deep into the ground. This slap actually completely deformed the martial stage, leaving everyone stunned. They stared in shock at Long Chen. The current Long Chen looked like an anger devil. Standing in the air, he gazed down at Chu Gan. Idiot. I let you live this long to see if you had any worthwhile moves. You dare to be arrogant with that little bit of power? You can't even control this power, and you sacrificed your speed just to unleash it. If you can't even touch your opponent, what's the point? Do you feel that the power you exchanged for your speed is very great? Fine, I'll show you what true power is. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air, and his body suddenly vanished. The place that he had just been collapsed, sending ripples in every direction. Just like that, Long Chen had reached Chu Gan. He was as quick as a bolt of lightning. Chu Gan's head was still spinning from that slap, so he didn't even hear Long Chen's words clearly. He only saw Long Chen charge right in front of him and unleash a kick. He instinctively raised his arms to block it. His arms then glowed, and the mark of an ancient beast appeared on them. The roar of an ancient beast rang out. Boom. Long Chen's foot landed solidly on Chu Gan's arms. As a result, the martial stage shuddered and the giant hole, which had started to heal due to the martial stage's properties, grew explosively. The sight of this stunned all the other disciples. Just being caught up in that wild rubble would probably crush the other heavenly geniuses attending this convention. Some experts instinctively dodged the rubble flying at them, but the rubble shattered and dissipated upon striking the barrier. However, the barrier was constantly quivering due to the impact. It seemed as if it really might break. Frightening others Novaloon.com from the very first Martial Dao convention until now, even through countless intense battles, never before had they heard of someone capable of shaking the barrier, but Long Chen had done so. The martial stage rumbled. Everyone clearly saw Long Chen's foot still stamping on Chu Gan's arms, making Chu Gan continue to sink into the ground. It was as if Long Chen possessed the power of an entire world, and he couldn't be stopped. Chu Gan's sleeves had been destroyed on impact, so everyone could clearly see a pair of golden bracers on his arms. Those bracers had the image of an ancient beast on them. Their runes flowed, and the beasts came to life, roaring and emitting their own divine pressure. Those bracers, they're definitely treasure items. How can he have so many treasure items? Seeing those bracers, people cried out in shock and also envy. He had three treasure items all on his own. Chu Gan was truly rich. It had to be known that amongst all the experts attending, 99% of them weren't even qualified to possess a treasure item, let alone three. Even as Chu Gan's treasure items blazed with light and unleashed their divine power, Long Chen's foot was like a mountain pressing down on him. Chu Gan was still forced deeper into the ground. So what if he has treasure items? Long Chen can still crush him barehandedly. That's a real expert, sneered someone. Treasures blinded people, making them jealous. But even with three treasure items, Chu Gan was still being suppressed by Long Chen. Hence, these heavenly geniuses that didn't possess treasure items all felt admiration for Long Chen and disdain for Chu Gan. The martial stage began to slowly sink due to Long Chen's power. It was deforming, stunning the people watching. The High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered crazily, due to their cheers. Countless other experts also joined the ranks of their cheering. All those people essentially lacked treasure items, so they hoped for Long Chen to be able to beat Chu Gan, proving with his actions that money wasn't something so amazing. Even rich people could be suppressed. In their eyes, using a treasure item to bully others was practically cheating, but due to lacking money, they could only curse those people behind their backs. They couldn't do anything about it. Seeing people use treasure items to suppress others was a sore point to them. Hence, for Long Chen to be able to suppress Chu Gan, they instantly chose to cheer him on instead. That was true of the outer spectator stand. 
as well as the inner spectator stand. Countless people cheered for Long Chen who possessed an indescribable charisma. As for Luo Bing and the others, they only started cheering after they heard everyone else's cheering. To be able to make so many people cheer at once for one person, even within the nine prefecture convention's entire history, was very rare. On the Dao discussion stage, Long Chen had pierced the black curtains fearlessly, winning the admiration of countless experts. He then won the Dao discussion convention, becoming the youngest champion and winning face for countless young disciples. Now, he was showing that he could reach this level with his own power, using it to show that his confidence was not for nothing. This had already caused him to become an idol worshipped by countless young disciples, making him their ultimate goal. Bei Shishi looked at the countless disciples cheering excitedly. She then looked at Long Chen. Without realizing it, a faint smile appeared on her face. As for young master Chang Chuan, seeing this, he sighed slightly, a somewhat bitter smile appearing on his face. The martial stage was constantly expanding for Long Chen and Chu Gan. It had already reached the limit of their block. Just at this moment, their martial stage merged with the neighboring block and the two people fighting inside were sent flying by the astral winds. They hacked up blood, almost dying. With the two of them on the edge, they were still almost killed in an instant. Filled with horror, they hastily activated their tablets and escaped. The two of them were truly unlucky. They had practically used their bodies to demonstrate to everyone just how terrifying that battle was. Just like that, they lost their right to continue competing. However, the two of them didn't feel too bad. At the very least, they got to experience just how great the difference between them and true experts was. This way, they didn't need to get that experience in the next round when a supreme expert slew them in an instant. Bastard, you are forcing me. Chu Gan roared furiously. His face suddenly twisted, and he spat a mouthful of blood onto his bracers. Touched by his blood, an ominous aura erupted from them. Chapter 3106 Absolute Power The arm bracer shone with divine light, and a strange roar rang out, shaking people's ears. A fierce and wild aura then erupted. Boom. The earth collapsed and Long Chen was sent flying. Long Chen took seven steps in the air before stabilizing. A trace of shock appeared in his eyes. The soul essence of an ancient beast? That's good stuff. Those arm bracers were priceless treasures that had the soul essence of an ancient beast sealed in them. It had even been subdued, and with essence blood, it could be awakened for immense power. Long Chen, these arm bracers are priceless treasures of my Chu family. For you to die in front of them is your glory. Face your death. Chu Gan's arm shone as he charged at Long Chen, taking the initiative to counterattack. Long Chen sneered. Do you think you can control its power with your weak body? Just like that, Long Chen spread his fingers. That arm became covered in scales and reached for Chu Gan's fist. When the fist and palm collided, the anticipated explosion didn't occur, and there was only a muffled bang. However, Chu Gan's expression completely changed. He was shocked to find that the power of his bracers had vanished like a stone falling into a sea. Long Chen had actually absorbed his power. He tried to pull back, but his fist was caught in Long Chen's hand. Just at that moment, Long Chen's foot landed on his armpit. Ahh Chu Gan screamed miserably as Long Chen crushed his bones and forcibly tore off his arm. What this sudden change caused everyone to jump. Just as they thought that Chu Gan's activated treasure items would put Long Chen at a disadvantage, Long Chen managed to land a heavy blow. Long Chen's power is absolutely terrifying. He's actually able to absorb Chu Gan's power and reverse it on him, said Luo Shue, her face covered in shock. She had clearly sensed that when Long Chen's foot landed, it contained Chu Gan's aura within it. In martial study, borrowing power to attack was a very common sight, but the absolute majority of cases of this involved borrowing natural power, or perhaps using special objects like treasure items to temporarily store the power. Relying on your own power to reverse your opponent's power was very rare because such a thing required your own power to be several times greater in order to not be deathly dangerous. Otherwise, the slightest slip would cause your opponent's power to explode within your own body. However, Long Chen easily reversed his opponent's power. That calm and ease with which he did this shocked her. 
just how much power did Long Chen have in his body, he was able to endure that power easily. It wasn't just Luo Xue who saw the clues. Many peak experts also saw just how crazy this was, and it was precisely due to this that they were so shocked. This fellow really is a monster. Even Bei Shishi was shaken. Clearly, Long Chen didn't want to use his own power because he didn't want to expose his abilities, which was why he had borrowed his opponent's power. After tearing off Chu Gan's arm, he tossed it into the primal chaos space. As quick as lightning, his palm reached for Chu Gan's head. Having just lost an arm, Chu Gan was filled with pain. In the face of Long Chen's killing blow, he instinctively raised his other arm to block. As a result, this arm was also ripped off. Long Chen's voice was like violent thunder as he ripped it off. Chu Gan's physical body was tough, but compared to Long Chen's, there was a definite difference. That was especially true after Chu Gan had just lost an arm. His scattered blood chi resulted in his defensive power sharply dropping, so it hadn't required much effort to rip off his other arm. Nice. Long Chen tossed this arm into the primal chaos space as well. Just like that, he had obtained two treasure items. He was a bit moved inside. With his other arm torn off, Chu Gan felt terror. There was no way for him to condense new arms in a short time. Without his hands, he couldn't activate his tablet to even admit defeat. Long Chen once more reached out for Chu Gan's head. After obtaining his bracers, Long Chen no longer had any use for Chu Gan. Although those underpants might be a treasure item, he wasn't interested in them. Long Chen's palm slammed into Chu Gan's head, but just at that moment, divine light erupted above the head. Long Chen's palm ended up smashing into that divine light, shattering it. However, when the divine light shattered, his palm landed on nothing more than air. Chu Gan had vanished. Long Chen was startled. Chu Gan had lost both of his arms, and his aura was in chaos. There was no way he could activate a magical art or divine ability so quickly in that situation. Long Chen then looked around. The martial stage had returned to its original appearance. In other words, Chu Gan had admitted defeat and the match was over. This sudden change caught even Long Chen off guard. So he remained in this posture for a long time. The crowd was silent. Just as they thought that Chu Gan was about to be slain, such a change had occurred. This result made no sense to them. Long Chen was sent out just then, and people immediately burst into a discussion. Luo Xue asked him, what happened? He didn't have the power to activate his tablet at that time. They had thought that Long Chen had ripped off Chu Gan's arms to make sure the latter couldn't admit defeat. In truth, Long Chen was more interested in the arm bracers. If Chu Gan was killed, his things would be sent out along with his corpse. Even if he died without a corpse, his things would be returned. In any case, he had lost his arms. It made no sense for him to be able to still escape. Furthermore, the divine light that had appeared in that last moment to protect him was also inexplicable. Long Chen muttered to himself for a moment before looking at Luo Qing. Miss Luo Qing, you should directly admit defeat for your battle with Chu Zhen what everyone was startled. Luo Xue, Luo Qing, Luo Bing and Luo Ning in particular didn't believe their ears. How could the Luo family's disciples admit defeat to the Chu family's disciples? Did you notice something? In the end, it was Luo Xue who was the steadiest and asked the important question. Long Chen nodded. If my guess is correct, those four fellows of the Chu family have a strange method of combining forces that isn't restricted by the martial stages formation. Just now, Chu Gan was saved by them, but... How is that possible? People stared at him in disbelief. Novaloon.com Chapter 3107 The Chu family's sinister play They truly possessed that kind of power. Just now, when I shattered that protective divine light, I sensed three kinds of energy, but they were not from the same source as Chu Gan's power. That's why I'm sure that the four of them have a strange technique to borrow each other's power. However, I don't know if their power is the same as myself and Ziaol's and can be directly activated through the formation. There's also the possibility that Silver Moon City already set this up in advance for them to use their technique, telling them the secrets of the formation so that they could cheat, said Long Chen. Just now, he had sensed something off. Just as he should be able to easily kill Chu Gan, his attack missed. 
Thinking back, he found that the Chu family really was slippery. According to the Chu family's style, they would always set up a scheme in advance. In that case, it made sense for the Chu family to have set this up, so that the four of them could share their power. If they really had that ability, why didn't they use it earlier? Why wait until Chu Gan was about to die? Asked Lu Mingxuan. One reason is because they had confidence that Chu Gan would have enough power to protect himself. The other reason is that I didn't give them enough time. By the time that they realized that he wouldn't be enough on his own, they had no time. It must take some time for them to activate their combination technique. So when they realized I was about to kill Chu Gan, they only had time to barely save his life but were unable to turn the tides. The other thing is that this is their killing blow. It might even be for obtaining the champion spot. Just think about it. If all their power merged together at a critical moment, it would be enough to completely change a fight, said Long Chen. Luo Xue nodded. Your assessment is accurate. With our understanding of the Chu family, doing such a thing is definitely in line with the Chu family's style. They really are sinister. Do they think they can take the champion spot like this? Snorted Bei Shishi. That's just one of their wishes. Killing the Luo family's experts is their primary goal. So I want Miss Luo Qing to abandon her match because of this. I almost killed Chu Gan, causing them to lose face. They will definitely do everything they can to kill you in the upcoming battle. If it was a one against one and we lost, we could only say that we were weaker. But for it to be four against one, it's definitely not worth it, said Long Chen. Luo Qing smiled slightly. Many thanks. I understand. I'll listen to senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Before this explanation, she couldn't just give up her match. She had to fight for the Luo family's dignity. And even if she died a hundred times for the Luo family, she would do so without regrets. But it was different after the explanation. Seeing that she agreed, Long Chen was at ease. The Luo family viewed their family's glory as more important than their own lives. So he had been afraid of her being stubborn. Don't worry, the Chu family's people are nothing more than shameless clowns. Putting them in their place is nothing more than a matter of time. There's no need to rush, comforted Long Chen. It was quickly Luo King's turn to fight, but she directly admitted defeat, leaving countless spectators stunned. Considering the Luo family and the Chu family's relationship, such a thing was bizarre. That was especially true at the Nine Prefecture Convention, with everyone hoping for the tough opponents to fight each other so that they could gain information on them. Every competitor that had reached this point had information on them, so Luo King's actions were particularly strange for the spectators. In any case, it infuriated the Chu family. Just as Long Chen had said, Chu Gan's defeat had resulted in them switching targets to Luo Qing. However, just as they prepared to crush her, all their preparations went to waste. The Chu family's people immediately started saying provoking things, but Long Chen and the others ignored them. The others quickly went through their own matches. Everyone else passed smoothly, but Lu Mingxuan's luck was bad. She encountered a very powerful opponent, and no matter how she fought, she was unable to beat him. Her opponent had mercy, and Lu Mingxuan could only admit defeat. Seeing her being silent upon returning, Luo Bing and Luo Ning hastily tried to comfort her. Luo Mingxuan had only come to play around, and she had no intentions of getting a ranking. Hence, after a while of gloom, she returned to her normal self. Just at this moment, their tablets lit up once more. They had entered the top 500. Today's competition ended here for them. However, there were still a few more matches to fight. A total of 512 competitors were going to move on to the next round. Long Chen and the others were sent through since they had obtained the recognition of the martial stage. But some of the competitors still needed to continue fighting for a spot in the top 500. Right now, on Long Chen's side, there were only Long Chen, Bei Shishi, Bei Xiaol, Young Master Chang Chuan, and Luo Xue. The others had already been eliminated. However, other than Luo Qing, this was within expectation. After all, these experts were truly powerful. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others had all been mentally prepared for this. Moreover, the results that they had gained were already very satisfactory. They had come here not for the rewards but for the experience. 
Having entered the top 500, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to watch the remaining fights. He directly returned to his residence. As for Bei Shishi and the others, they remained to watch. After all, everyone still remaining in the competition was an expert. Every bit they watched was a bit more experience. Right now, Long Chen was in his room alone and continued studying the world extermination lightning radiance and the three flower pupils. He hadn't even finished studying his own moves. So why would he go studying other people's moves during the competition? His battle with Chu Gan today could count as a warm-up. With the support of his divine ring and the full power of his physical body, things still went very smoothly. He had only used a portion of his dragon scales to suppress his opponent, and this gave him greater confidence. However, he had to obtain the golden dragon scale. Since there would no longer be any weaklings amongst the remaining competitors, he would have to face them with his full power. There couldn't be any accidents. Only by obtaining the golden dragon scale could he raise the power of his physical body to the point that he could freely unleash the power of his divine flames. Having all this power but being unable to unleash it was truly stifling. As he studied the world extermination lightning radiance and the three flower pupils, he also studied something else. Ever since he had ascended to the immortal world, he had also been studying the nine forms of split the heavens. This technique that had saved him from crisis countless times in the mortal world could no longer be used in the immortal world. The two worlds possessed completely different laws. The martial heaven continent's laws were incomplete. So it was easy for him to unleash the will to split the heavens noveloon.com however. The immortal world's laws were different. They refused to allow such a will to exist. Long Chen had tried it countless times. Only to be injured countless times by the backlash. But he refused to give up. Recently, he had read an ancient tome in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. With it, he had come up with several possibilities and was currently trying them out. If he could unleash the nine forms of split the heavens in the immortal world, perhaps the old man would be able to laugh in the nine springs. The nine forms of split the heavens were not just a battle skill to Long Chen. To him, this technique was a memory that he couldn't bear to part with. The next day, Everyone gathered again. Long Chen had just arrived when countless sharp gazes turned on him. Chapter 3108 Terrifying Fatty Today's spectator stance had changed again. Originally, there was a formation blocking off those spectators. But today, that formation was removed, and everyone was able to see everything clearly. It was precisely due to this that Long Chen's arrival resulted in countless gazes. The fight between Long Chen and Chu Gan was the most marvelous one during this Nine Prefecture Convention. Hence, Long Chen's fame had spread far and wide. Yesterday's battle also showed that Long Chen was different from the past instructors that had participated in the Dao Discussion Convention. He was not someone who only knew battle strategies on paper but also possessed the necessary power. Because of it, Long Chen's arrival caused a large stir. Countless people waved and cheered for him. Amongst them were many women. However, what drew Long Chen's attention the most wasn't those cheers but those sharp gazes full of hostility. In particular, Long Chen saw four people. He, they were precisely the Chu family's four heroes. Chu Gan, Chu Ren, Chu Zhen, and Chu Shuang. Chu Gan's arms had been restored, but his face was still pale white. Clearly, healing from his wounds wasn't so simple. Long Chen had given him wounds that would probably require a longer time to heal. Anger ignited in their eyes as soon as they saw Long Chen. Their killing intent was not hidden in the slightest. Do those four idiots not know that their deaths are at hand? Sneered Chin Fang. They're doing it on purpose to show just how stupid they are. That way, it covers up their sinister schemes. It makes us overlook what they're doing behind the scenes. Said Long Chen indifferently Noveloon.com then they really are naive. Said Chin Fang. How smart do you think that they are? They're still praying that I won't notice their plan. They must be feeling uneasy since Miss Luo Ching abandoned her match yesterday. However, they still think that their movements are flawless and shouldn't have been seen through. So they have to keep up this show. That's why I said that they're shameless clowns. Being put in their place is only a matter of time. Just let them act arrogant for a while, said Long Chen. Long Chen then looked around and saw quite a few unfriendly faces. In one distant corner, Long Chen saw a cloaked figure. 
and he slowly smiled. Just as he saw this person, that person sensed it and looked back. Long Chen was a bit surprised that this person wasn't wearing a mask. Furthermore, he was different from the ordinary assassins of the Blood Kill Hall. Most of those assassins were rather lean, but this person was a bit fat, and his eyes were small. Just from his exterior, he seemed like a harmless fatty that wouldn't harm a fly. If Long Chen couldn't sense the specific aura of the Blood Kill Hall from his body, he really wouldn't have been able to tell that this unremarkable fatty was that final disciple of the killing god, Imputa. He was Ji Yui Yun whose name struck others with terror. Ji Yui Yun narrowed his eyes slightly when he looked at Long Chen. His already small eyes instantly became slits. Just then, Long Chen felt a slight change in the space around him. It was as if countless eyes were looking at him from different angles, as if all his secrets were being exposed. It was a very uncomfortable feeling. Interesting. As expected of Imputa's disciple, his visual piercing arts have reached a perfect level. Long Chen nodded. This Gui Yun had not disappointed him. Just then, Luo Bing and the other's expressions changed. Long Chen, it's fine. It would be strange if Imputa's disciple didn't have this little bit of ability but, said Luo Ning hastily. Long Chen interrupted her. I said it's fine. Even if he could look through your memories, there wouldn't be any need to be so nervous. He knew that their expressions had changed because just now, it felt like they had gone through a soul sark. It was as if all their secrets had been looked through. They finally sensed just how terrifying this seemingly ordinary fatty was. Just a single gaze from him could expose all their secrets. They couldn't even muster up the courage to attack. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others were pale. The feeling of having their soul searched was truly unbearable. Your inner hearts aren't tough enough. Assassins like to play games the most. Even if he could look through your souls. Do you know just how much he saw? How do you know he was not intentionally trying to scare you? If you meet someone on par with you but a single gaze from him causes you to overthink everything, you will be easily killed. No matter what time it is, you must maintain a steady heart. Even in the face of death. You must have absolute calm in front of it. Fear and panic will only cause you to lose your last chance of surviving, said Long Chen. Don't give off a weak display. Let him see us laughing and joking. With boss present, there's nothing to fear, said Qin Feng. Although Qin Feng also felt as if his soul had been looked through, he didn't rest his mind on it. With Long Chen present, there was nothing for him to worry about. In any case, it had to be said that Ji Yui Yun was truly terrifying. A single gaze from him could terrify others. Furthermore, Long Chen also hadn't expected Ji Yui Yun's ability to see through others to have reached such a level. Although Ji Yui Yun wasn't able to see through his secrets, the power of his physical body, his blood, and his bones couldn't possibly have escaped this examination. Ji Yui Yun had definitely managed to get a rough estimate of Long Chen's overall power. This was a fundamental technique for an assassin, but for Ji Yui Yun to have reached such a perfect level in this technique was truly shocking. Compared to Luo Bing and the others, Bei Shishi, Young Master Chang Chuan, Luo Xue, and Bei Xiaol were a bit better off. Although they also felt like they had been scanned, they didn't feel that kind of intense danger. They all had confidence that others couldn't see through their secrets. As for Bei Xiaol, he was so simple-minded that he wasn't afraid of others peering through his secrets. They could look for all he cared. He had such absolute confidence in his three flower pupils that he was thinking the same thing as Qin Feng. As long as he was with Long Chen, he didn't care about the rest. Long Chen, look at that person. That is the Ku Wuya of the corpse devil Dao. He's also looking at us, whispered Bei Shishi. Long Chen followed her gaze and quickly noticed a large figure. What a terrifying physical body. Chapter 3109 Strange Woman When Long Chen saw this person, the first thing he thought of was wild. Ku Wuya's body was so tall that even seated, he was taller than someone standing. His head was barren of any hair, and he had wide shoulders and a thick back. Moreover, his arms were thicker than a normal person's waist, and his large head was nestled between his shoulders. It was almost impossible to see a neck. It wasn't fat but the opposite. It was impossible to see any fat beneath his skin. 
The reason his neck couldn't be seen was because his shoulder muscles bulged to the point that even his neck was covered up. He sat there alone, and no one else dared to get close to him. It was as if everyone was afraid of him. Furthermore, a faint layer of mist curled around him, giving off a scent of decay and death. This was the corpse devil Deo's cultivator, Kuyuya. He was sitting there, a pair of crocodile-like eyes staring at Long Chen-like lanterns in the darkness. This fellow is very powerful. Long Chen, you have to be careful, whispered young master Chang Chuan. He had previously exchanged blows with this person. His current aura is even stronger than when I encountered him. It's also deeper. His cultivation base has clearly advanced again in this short time. Just at this moment, Ku Wuya suddenly smiled at Long Chen, revealing a row of black teeth. Everyone, including Bei Shishi, felt a chill. The rumor was that Ku Wuya consumed corpses to cultivate. Those black teeth immediately made them nauseous. Other than Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuya, quite a few other people were looking at Long Chen coldly. Those were peak experts overflowing with hostility, but Long Chen ignored them. Only 512 competitors remained. There were men and women amongst them, but two women in particular attracted Long Chen's interest. One of them was a veiled woman with a zither in her embrace as she meditated. Her veil covered her face, yet she still exuded a sacred and holy aura. Long Chen's heart pounded because he instantly thought of Zi Yan. The two were quite similar. When Long Chen looked at her, that woman slowly opened her eyes and nodded amicably to Long Chen before closing her eyes once more. Hey, even all of us beauties aren't enough for you? You're going to flirt with others, grumbled Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. What did she mean by enough for him? She really was dirty. Luo Xue and the others were blushing and glared at Lu Mingxuan. Bei Shishi even reached out to grab her, only for her to laugh and run off. Don't mess around. She just makes me think of one of my lovers, said Long Chen. She should be from the Zither sect, one of the four immemorial sects. Their foundation is shockingly deep, and they use the music Tao to peer into the heavenly Deos. Their mental realms are very profound, but the Zither sect doesn't compete with the rest of the world. So I didn't expect one of them to appear here to compete for the treasures, said Luo Shue. Upon hearing that, Long Chen's heart shook. When he and Zi Yan met, Zi Yan had been roaming the world in order to find the true essence of life and comprehend the heavenly Deos. Was this girl doing the same thing? Zi Yan had ascended with everyone else. If she continued to cultivate, wouldn't she also choose to cultivate the music Tao? Would she have gone to the Zither sect? If she had, then with her comprehension of the music Tao, she would definitely be a rising star in the sect perhaps this girl would know about her. Thinking of this, he was moved. He had an urge to meet her. Long Chen, have you seen that woman? That figure really is fiery. My own mouth is getting wet just by looking at her, said Lu Mingxuan, pulling his gaze. Long Chen had naturally seen that girl as well. She was the most conspicuous of all these experts. Compared to ordinary female cultivators, she wore a completely different outfit. Her skirt was short, and her upper garment only covered her chest. So, her legs and waist were fully exposed. To make things better, she was gracefully curvaceous, with perfect proportions. She stood there barefooted, her hair falling loosely to her waist. She was like an elf that had walked out of a forest, yet she also possessed a bewitching charm that made it seem like she could steal a person's soul. She's very beautiful, said Bei Shishi as well. If you took off your clothes, you would definitely be more beautiful than her. As soon as he said this, he sensed danger and took a step back, barely dodging Bei Shishi's hand. Don't take a joke so seriously, coughed Long Chen. Bei Shishi glared at him for a moment before ignoring him and continuing to examine the surrounding experts. Long Chen, what do you think about that woman? Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm talking seriously, said Lu Mingxuan. Her body is one with the Tao. Every single one of her movements contains Tao charm. I've never seen such an expert before, said Long Chen after a moment's thought. This woman was very strange. Every single one of her movements seemed to contain the mystery of heavenly Deos. It was completely impenetrable. Other than those two women, he also sensed many other experts that shook him. Every single one of them was a powerful expert in their own right. 
After the elimination rounds, the remaining competitors were all top experts. However, amongst them were many people with dense killing intent toward him. He knew that those people viewed him as a target to kill since he had broken the nine prefecture conventions on spoken rules. In other words, the powers behind these experts were those that had benefited from the nine prefecture convention. He had ruined one of their money-making schemes. Not only did they glare at him, but some even made insulting gestures. Because of this, Qin Feng's own killing intent grew. He snorted. These idiots don't know that if the Dragonblood Legion's members were here, we'd turn them into a mountain of corpses. Bei Shishi and the others' hearts shook. Qin Feng was just an ordinary Dragonblood warrior, but he possessed such daring. Hence, they grew even more curious as to what kind of people the Dragonblood Legion was for Qin Feng to dare to say such a thing. Long Chen's own fury rose. Seeing these people gesturing at him, his killing intent ignited. Unable to suppress it, he announced, I, Boss Long San, will make myself clear. In this nine prefecture convention, those who follow me will prosper, and those who defy me will die. If you disagree, you can come at me together. It's no problem. However many that come is however many this Boss Long San kills. An uproar erupted as soon as he said this with countless people staring at him in disbelief. Had he gone insane? Chapter 3110 The Influence of the Purgatory Eyes Long Chen Bei Shishi and the others were also startled. Just what was Long Chen doing? Why was he challenging everyone? Long Chen waved his hand, indicating for them to not speak. He wasn't being impetuous. It was the opposite. His mind was clear. He also knew where his anger was coming from. This boundless killing intent came from his purgatory eyes. He didn't know if it was due to researching the three flower pupils and constantly touching the power of the purgatory eyes, but they were growing increasingly active. Hence, he was growing more and more explosive. Those people's provoking gazes and insulting actions made him think of the various bullying that he had suffered from as a child. He felt that if he didn't unleash the power of his purgatory eyes, he would go insane. He knew that he couldn't restrain himself any longer. That would only make the purgatory eyes even more berserk. Quickening the growth of that dark energy. Swallowing his anger was what nourished that dark energy. Since that was the case, he would make himself clear. Those that wanted his life could come as they pleased. What he needed was a reason to kill them. His words caused huge waves. Countless people were shocked by this wild arrogance. And they were provoked. Long Chen. You're nothing more than a disciple from a fallen sect. It's 10,000 years too early for you to run wild here, idiot. When the time comes, you won't even know how you die. What right do you have to be arrogant let alone you? Even if it was your entire high firmament academy, if you angered us, your entire sect would be raised. Do you want the high firmament academy to be surrounded by enemies? Countless curses rang out. However, only a small portion of them realized that there were also disdainful gazes cast toward them. Other than the top 512, everyone else had been eliminated from the competition. Those people were now nothing more than spectators. If someone was wild and arrogant, it had nothing to do with them. At this time, the ones cursing him were clearly the ones profiting from the Nine Prefecture Convention. They had essentially exposed their own sects by cursing him. Hence. Those people fell silent. They had just announced to everyone that they were part of the cheaters of every nine prefecture convention. Boss San, we support you. Kill these shameless dogs. They deserve death. That's right. Experts should be straightforward. If you encounter a god, slay gods. If you encounter a devil, slay devils. There is no soft-heartedness on the path of cultivation. Experts must be domineering you idiots who cursed Boss San. What qualifications do you have to curse him? You don't like his arrogance? Then why don't you get the champion spot for the Tao discussion convention and get into the top 500? You simply lack skill, so you can only shout as proof of your own existence. If it weren't for the convention's rules protecting you, Boss San would kill you all with a slap. Once those people fell silent, other voices rose. After all, by exposing the dark curtains of the Nine Prefecture Convention, Long Chen had helped 99% of the competitors. They got to have a fair fight. Furthermore, Long Chen's fearless charisma deeply touched these young people. With a few people taking the lead, 
they immediately started a torrent of curses on those people as if they hoped to drown them with their saliva. Long Chen also hadn't expected his arrogant words to draw out so much support. Just at this moment, the lots were drawn again to find out who was fighting who. Everyone had to stop cursing. Long Chen and the others' tablets lit up, the names of their opponents appearing. Long Chen didn't recognize the name of his opponent, but when Bei Ziaol saw the name that he had drawn, he wailed. Boss, everyone looked, only to see that it was Chu Ren. Bei Ziaol was matched up against Chu Ren. Luo Qing had listened to Long Chen's advice and admitted defeat against him. Hence, Bei Ziaol was aggrieved to run into him as well. It's fine. When it's your turn, directly activate the three flower pupils and unleash your three flowers condense. Triple assault. And there's an 80% chance that you'll kill him in one blow. Consoled Long Chen. Really asked Bei Ziaol. Long Chen smiled. Little fellow, you're lacking confidence. You don't know just how terrifying the three flower pupils are. Those four fellows from the Chu family's strongest point isn't their own power. It's their combination technique. But that's cheating. And so they can't make it too obvious. If you were to instantly start off with a killing blow, Chu Ren definitely won't be able to use that combination technique. Even if you don't kill him with the first move, you will definitely injure him, and then you'll have complete control over the fight. There's no need to fear him. By the time the second attack lands, he will essentially be crippled. However, such an explosive start will definitely cause some harm to the three flower pupils. After beating Chu Ren, you will be unable to use them again for a short time. But now that every fight occurs one after another, there's enough time for you to rest before your next fight. The initial goal of the Nine Prefecture Convention was to give the young disciples a chance to interact. These battles were now held one by one so that everyone could watch every single battle, gaining experience. This stage to decide the top 256 would take three days. So there was no need to worry about missing anything. Hearing Long Chen's words, Bei Ziaol inflated with confidence. He even stuck his thumb down at Chu Ren. Will Ziaol be alright? Are you sure? Whispered Bei Shishi. Long Chen looked at her. This pretty girl actually did care about her little brother. Don't worry. A combination technique requires time. It might be effective against others but not Ziaol. I've also factored in the backlash. It will be no problem. Only then was Bei Shishi at ease. He checked her tablet and saw another foreign name. After checking with young master Chang Chuan and Luo Xue, they also didn't end up matched against their enemies. Just at this moment, Long Chen's tablet began to flash. Unexpectedly, he was the very first one up in this round of 512. Chapter 3111 The Lecherous Wuji When Long Chen was sent to the martial stage. Countless cheers rang out. Long Chen's reputation preceded him now. They were all full of anticipation to see him fight. As for his opponent, it was a white-robed man. Looking at Long Chen, he smiled bitterly. Ah, whatever. Brother Long is one of the people I admire the most. I admit defeat in this battle that person sighed and directly admitted defeat. The only reason he had gone onto the stage was to greet Long Chen. Or perhaps he had had an urge to fight before. But upon seeing Long Chen, he gave up. Long Chen cupped his fists toward that person to express his thanks. This person was an expert. If they were to fight all out, Long Chen would need some effort to beat him. He might even need to expose some trump cards. So Long Chen had accepted a favor from this person. Long Chen passed easily, leaving others disappointed. But there was no way around it. The terrifying power that Long Chen had displayed against Chu Gan had intimidated his competitors. If they fought Long Chen and forced him to reveal his trump cards, then he might just kill them. While ranking was important, their lives were more important. Everyone had their own goals, and there was no need to be so reckless in this competition. After all, this round wasn't even for deciding the top hundred. Hence, the good start to the show didn't appear. Long Chen passed just like this. The second round then started, and it was much more intense. Both fighters were primals who were power types, and they instantly started a fierce fight. After hundreds of exchanges, one of them finally admitted defeat, but Long Chen and the other shook their heads. The two of them were so evenly matched that they were forced to unleash all their trump cards. 
the winner had even ignited their essence blood to obtain victory. After this victory, they probably wouldn't recover in time. There was no chance that they would win the next round. So doing this wasn't entirely worth it. The third round started. Unexpectedly, one of them was Ji Yui Yun. But his opponent admitted defeat before they were even sent onto the stage. I asked around. That deadly fatty Ji Yui Yun and the giant Ku Wuya didn't even have to fight once. Anyone matched against them directly admitted defeat. Who would have thought that no one would dare to fight them even at this stage? Said Lu Mingxuan. It's so exaggerated? Then they're on track to win just by lying down. Said Bei Ziaol. The elders have probably warned their disciples to avoid those two. However, they won't be able to be so relaxed for long. When they encounter real experts, they'll be competing with their real power, not fame, said Long Chen. The competition continued. According to the rules, they had to finish their fight within one incense stick's worth of time, or both of them were eliminated. That was a short time. True experts that were evenly matched had difficulty deciding a winner in that short time. Some people even felt that their chances of winning in that short time were too low, or that paying a huge price to win wasn't worth it, so they admitted defeat. Hence, the competition progressed quickly. Over 10 fights ended in less than an hour, but the next clash caused an uproar. There was a shameless fellow who was clearly a level weaker than his opponent, but because he was an earth element expert who countered his opponent, he managed to stall him for a long time. Midway through the fight, he actually demanded some profit for him to admit defeat, or they would both be eliminated. In the end, his opponent gave him 30,000 immortal crystals and two top-grade spirit items before that person was satisfied and admitted defeat. As expected, there are all kinds of people. Even a grand primal can be so shameless Luo Ning shook her head. Her eyes had been opened to the world. The main thing was that both of them were truly shameless. One was willing to be bought and one was willing to buy. Neither was better than the other. However, there was no rule against this. It could be said that the two of them had grasped a loophole. Although they were looked down upon, they were still willing. Quick, look, it's young master Wuji, exclaimed Lu Mingxuan. That bastard, he actually managed to make it here. Luo Bing and the others greatly detested this person. They hadn't expected him to get into the top 500. As for his opponent, it was a woman with a sword on her back. Young Master Wuji smiled sinisterly when he saw his opponent. Young lady, you're not a match for me. You should just give up and dual cultivate with me. We can rise through the immortal realm and reach the realm of perfection together. Young Master Wuji smiled, a perverted look in his eyes. Die. His opponent was enraged, and her manifestation appeared behind her. She instantly activated her primal bloodline and slashed her sword at him. She was shockingly fast. As a result, young Master Wuji was unable to dodge in time and was cut in two, stunning everyone. A puppet art. Long Chen curled his lips. Just as he said this, Luo Bing and the others realized that this woman had slain a puppet, not young Master Wuji. The puppet exploded, and a burst of fragrance filled the stage, causing his opponent's expression to change. She hastily fell back, but just as she moved, she found that her body was stiff. A hand then caught the back of her neck. Young lady, you're too naive. You fell for it so easily. Shouldn't you beg this young master for mercy now? As long as you agree to be my slave, this young master will treat you properly. Ha ha ha. Zhao Wuji was surrounded by mist, hidden in it. At this moment, runes flowed down his hand, covering her body. Those runes were like vipers coiling around her body. Young Master Wuji was extremely sinister. Those runes were squeezing her body, forcibly exposing her curves. It was a clear humiliation. She wanted to struggle, but her gaze became sluggish. The puppet that she had slain contained poison, and she had fallen for it. Hence, she felt a mix of panic and anger. Keep struggling. I like seeing such pure women struggling. The more you struggle, the more excited I get. Young Master Wuji smiled lecherously and even kissed her cheek. Bastard. Shameless I'll kill him right now. Seeing him act like this and humiliate a primal. Countless people were enraged. Promise to dual cultivate with me. And I'll spare your life. Otherwise. He. Young Master Wuji ignored those curses. Seemingly fearless. Die. 
The woman suddenly choked out a furious cry, and Arun lit up on her forehead. Seeing this, young Master Wuji's expression completely changed, and he hastily pushed her away. Boom. Her body then exploded, and it filled the stage with blood mist. She had chosen to self-detonate. Chapter 3112 The Zither Sect's expert that woman was so unyielding that she chose to self-detonate. Young Master Wuji had never expected such a thing. Despite having pushed her away immediately, the resulting explosion still left him bloodied. Half his body was a mess. Courting death, infuriated, he suddenly formed hand seals. After that, divine light flowed out of his forehead. He was summoning a layer of flames around the martial stage. This bastard, when they saw that, everyone's fury soared. That woman was already dead, but young Master Wuji was using a spiritual flame to incinerate the remnants of her soul so that she wouldn't enter the reincarnation cycle. She would fully vanish from this world. If I encounter him, I'll make him suffer a life worse than death. He'll regret being born in this world. Young Master Chang Chuan clenched his teeth. The two of them had no enmity, and yet young Master Wuji had not just forced that woman to kill herself, but he had even refused to give her a chance to enter the cycle of reincarnation. Young Master Wuji, HMPH, does he really think he can be so unbridled? Long Chen's expression was dark. He had no relationship with that woman, and although in the past he would be angered by this, it would not have reached the point where he struggled to stop himself from charging onto the stage and killing him right this instant. I really can't hold myself back. Like an inflated ball, I'll pop with just a touch. This desire to kill will devour my mind. A vein throbbed on Long Chen's forehead. His face was shockingly dark. Just like what that dragon expert had said, this dark power could not be bottled up forever. The more it was, the more its power grew. Young Master Wuji won, but he was attacked by a rain of curses. The entire arena was chaos. However, Young Master Wuji ignored those curses, appearing particularly fearless. The competition then continued. When it was Bei Shishi's turn, she only defended. Her opponent unleashed all their techniques but was unable to shake her defenses, so they ultimately gave up. After Bei Shishi's turn, the sky started to darken. Just as Long Chen thought that they wouldn't get their turn today, it was Bei Ziyadol's turn. Bei Ziyadol was delighted and prepared to slaughter Chu Ren just as Long Chen had taught him, only for Chu Ren to directly admit defeat. What Bei Ziyadol was dumbfounded. Did they eavesdrop on us? wondered Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen shook his head. It seems that their merger technique is not all that powerful. Perhaps it has some limits. That means Ziyadol isn't their goal. Chu Ren admitted defeat but the Chu family still has two others. They must have absolute confidence in them. Moreover, they definitely have an understanding of Ziyadol's three flower pupils and don't want to take the risk of exposing their trump card. They probably want to find the best chance to unleash their power on their target. Their goal isn't for ranking but one of us. If it's one of us, then it's probably boss or fairy Shishi, said Qin Fang. Although the Luo family was mortal enemies with the Chu family, it was Long Chen who had repeatedly ruined the Chu family's plans in the academy. He had killed Chu Kuang and Chu Yang, two competitors for the family head position. In the Jilin Immortal Land, he had wrecked their plan, and then the Chu family's forces in the academy were ripped out. When it came to who they hated the most, it was probably Long Chen who won out. As for Bei Shishi, she was also an important target. In comparison to the two of them, Luo Shua didn't seem like such a target. Just at this moment, the sound of a zither rang out. It was like the music of the Grand Dao was directly piercing people's souls. Long Chen and the others were startled and hastily focused on the martial stage. At some point, two new people appeared. One of them was the zither woman. She sat in the air, her zither resting across her knees. At this moment, her hands moved across her zither, and a ray of light flew out of a string tearing through the void. Her opponent was a man with a wolf tooth club. His manifestation appeared behind him. He was a powerful primal but was repeatedly forced back by the zither woman. What kind of power is that? Lu Mingxuan and the others stared at her in shock. As her hands moved across her zither, divine music rang, and streaks of divine light flew out like celestial blades, forcing her opponent back. He didn't even have a chance to approach. 
the heavenly music art of one of the four immemorial sects. The body becomes one with the Tao, the zither becomes one with the heavens. Heaven and earth play the music of the grand Tao. The power of heaven and earth concentrates on the fingertips, while the Tao transforms into arrows, and the strings are the Bao Long Chen murmured to himself. This was something Zi Yan had told him. His understanding of the music Tao was far greater than normal people. Her opponent suddenly roared. His body lit up like a star, causing the entire martial stage to shake. This was no longer the old martial stage. It was not split into blocks but was the full stage. Hence, others had fought quite intensely before but hadn't caused the martial stage to shake at all. For this person to be able to make the martial stage shake like this, he was clearly very powerful. But no matter what he did, he was always forced back by the zither music. This person has already lost. If he continues, he will force the other side to kill him, said Bei Shishi. Long Chen nodded. The Wolf Tooth Club expert had repeatedly unleashed his trump cards, while the zither woman had used only one move to keep him back. If he continued, it would be a bit shameless. This zither woman clearly did not wish to expose more of her power. She wanted this person to know that he had already lost. Just as Bei Shishi said this, that man stopped his attacks and admitted defeat. He had used up the majority of his energy and had no other choice but to admit defeat. Once he admitted defeat, the zither woman bowed slightly and left as well. She closed her eyes in meditation once more, seemingly indifferent to this victory. She's very powerful. Bei Shishi looked at her heavily. This woman had defeated a powerful primal without the slightest effort. She was unfathomable. Just by displaying a trace of the music Tao, she defeated a primal. She truly is very powerful, said Long Chen. After her round, the competition ended for the day. And on the next day, everyone arrived early. All these battles were marvelous, and no one wanted to miss them. She's the first one today? Now there's something to watch. The stage's runes lit up and a woman with a fierce appearance appeared. Chapter 3113 Natural Charm Her skin was fair and mostly exposed, and her long legs only had a short skirt covering them. Moreover, her curves were perfectly displayed, possessing a fatal attraction. Wearing no shoes, she stood there barefooted. Everyone was staring at her. Both men and women were attracted by her beauty. When she was sitting before, she appeared holy, but on the martial stage. An unspeakable charm exuded from her. A single look or a single movement from her could draw in people's hearts. Natural charm. Looking at her, Long Chen suddenly thought of Yu Ziaokian. She also possessed a natural charm along with the purest bloodline of the original devil race. With her talent, she could cultivate the original devil race's charm arts. These charm arts were beguiling techniques. With her beauty and talent, if she cultivated people, then no man or woman would be able to resist them. Originally, this was a path that Yu Ziaokian would have walked down, but she had given up on this talent after encountering Long Chen. She always thought that Long Chen didn't know, but he just didn't say anything. Instead, he remembered this in his heart. Yu Ziaokian knew that no man would like having his woman using charm arts. Hence, she had entrusted herself and her entire race to him, giving up her talent in that regard. She had sacrificed much for him. Seeing this woman, Long Chen felt many emotions. All the peerlessly beautiful and talented women by his side had made so many sacrifices for him. As for himself, he was unable to even provide a stable life for them. Hey, you're supposed to be an expert. Don't get seduced by her. You represent the High Firmament Academy. Have some face said Lu Mingxuan a bit irritably when she saw Long Chen staring at that woman without blinking. Long Chen shook his head and ignored her. Although that woman was beautiful, it was the result of exposing her most beautiful areas. His own beauties were all prettier than her. Right now, all the attention was on her. Almost no one paid any attention to her opponent, a large man with a giant gourd on his back covered in ancient marks. Its aura was quite powerful. It should be a treasure item. Upon seeing his opponent, a perverted light appeared in his eyes. His own wicked desires were fully exposed in front of her. At that moment, the barrier separating them vanished and the battle officially commenced. The man sinisterly laughed. He, little girl, there's no need to fight. 
You aren't a match for me. I don't want to be like that young master Wuji and ruin such a beautiful flower. Why don't you just follow me, and I'll satisfy all your desires. That woman slowly raised her hand, the slightest look of disdain appearing on her face. She then clenched her hand. As a result, space twisted and a translucent hand covered up the martial stage. Boom. As the hand closed down on the stage, cracks spread throughout the floor. The intense rumbling caused everyone to jump. That hand was the same as the woman's hand. She then slowly released her hand, and the giant palm faded. However, her opponent was gone. All that remained were some red ripples in the air. After that, a large gourd fell to the ground. It was like a hammer dropping at the bottom of their hearts, shaking them. He, he died, killed in one move. Voices quivered. This had happened so suddenly that it felt like the fight was over before it began. Even Beishishi, young master Changchun, Luo Shue, and the others jumped. What technique had this bewitching woman used to kill her opponent? It had to be known that her opponent was a powerful primal, but he hadn't even had a chance to resist. Without forming seals, without chanting anything, without using her Yuan spirit, without using her bloodline power, how could she possibly do this? Mu Qingyan covered her mouth, staring at her in shock. That woman took her opponent's gourd. She had barely managed to grab it before she was sent out of the stage. Everyone stared at her in shock. They were silent. That attack of hers was so shocking that they didn't even bother watching the upcoming battles. Are you able to tell what happened? Asked Bei Shishi. Long Chen nodded. Bei Shishi then said, This method is rarely seen. The world is so big. I suppose it's normal for such a thing to appear. Said Long Chen lightly. Hey. What are you talking about? What did you see? Can you not treat us like air? Demanded Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen explained. That woman used heavenly Tao energy. But contrary to others who need to form hand seals and chant. Merging the body, mouth, and will. She is already one with the Tao and can freely use the power of the heavenly Deus without hand seals or saying the name of her technique. Hence, her attack came without any warning, without using her Yuan spirit or bloodline power. As for her opponent, he was already under the effect of her charm technique and was unable to even see through how deep his opponent was before daring to act like young master Wuji. His death was deserved this explanation stunned them. This woman's cultivation path was completely different from other people's. It's too bad. If it was young master Wuji who encountered her, he would definitely have been killed. Just like that. Even his expression has changed. Said Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen and the others looked and saw that she was right. Young master Wuji's expression was clearly unnatural. He was drinking some wine. But no matter what. It seemed like an act to cover up his unease. It was obvious that he had also set his intentions on her. After seeing this though, he was afraid. There was no way for him to prepare for such a move. It's Ku Wuaya's turn, whispered Qin Fang. Everyone then looked back to the martial stage. Chapter 3114 Heaven Shaking Physical Body As Ku Wuaya appeared on the stage, everyone turned silent. Ku Wuaya's reputation preceded him. He was a peerlessly ruthless person. The corpse devil Dao was an ancient and mysterious path. In the immortal world, there were corpse devil sects, corpse devil gates, corpse devil caves, etc. But none of them were on the same side. The corpse devil Dao had many inheritances, but those who had obtained those inheritances were not unified. It was the opposite. They all viewed each other as enemies, and if they ever had a chance, they would devour the other. The infighting between the corpse devil Dao inheritances was exceptionally intense. Thus, any surviving powers with those inheritances were extremely powerful. Ku Wuaya was from the corpse devil sect, an existence that shook those in the nine prefectures. Moreover, despite being relatively young, his name was known to almost everyone within the nine prefectures. Looking at his opponent, Ku Wuaya coldly said, Are you tired of living? His opponent was another large man with a giant axe on his back. His blood chi fluctuations were powerful as his manifestation flowed behind him. Ku Wuaya, I hear that your physical body is unrivaled. I don't believe it. I want to experience a few blows from you today. This person raised his axe, which head was as big as a table. At this moment, ancient runes flashed on it. 
and a heavy air exuded from it. This was clearly a very powerful treasure item. Ku Wuaya looked at him like a king looking at an ant. He then sneered. The light of a firefly dares to compete with the moon? Fine. I'll receive one blow from you to show that arrogant fellow, who won the Tao discussion convention, just what the difference between us is. When he said this, everyone's gaze flickered toward Long Chen. These words were clearly for him. Is Ku Wuaya challenging Long Chen? People's excitement began to rise. Now, there would be a good show. Long Chen acted like he hadn't heard anything. On the other hand, an angry fire ignited in Qin Feng's eyes, but he didn't say anything. The barrier between them vanished. Immediately, the axe-wielding expert stamped on the ground, shooting forward like a bolt of lightning. The entire martial stage shuddered. He knew he wasn't a match for Ku Wuaya, so he started off with a full power blow. Retreating just like this wasn't something he was willing to do. In the face of that attack, Ku Wuaya's look of disdain didn't change. Just standing there, he allowed the axe to land on him. Only once it was right in front of him did he turn his head ever so slightly. Boom. The giant axe slashed into Ku Wuaya's shoulder. The immense force caused cracks to spread throughout the martial stage. What Qin Fang, Luo Bing, and the others stared in shock. Other than having the clothes on his upper body blasted apart, Ku Wuaya wasn't injured in the slightest. With the powerful astral waves and immense aura raging from within, no one doubted the power of that axe. Heavens, is he really human? He used his bare body to block the attack of a treasure item. He's a demon. How can a body be trained to this level? Everyone was stunned. Even a treasure item was unable to harm his body. Was there really such an existence in this world? Even Long Chen was shocked. Although he had sensed that this person's physical body would be terrifying, he hadn't expected it to have reached this level. An ant is just an ant. Even if I give you a chance, you can't grasp it. Ku Wuaya's body didn't budge at all when his opponent's axe slammed into his shoulder. His opponent was shocked. Just as he was retreating, Ku Wuaya smashed a fist into him, and without even being able to make a grunt, he was blasted into blood mist. He used a body of flesh to receive the attack of a treasure item, and then he used one punch to blast apart his opponent. Ku Wuaya's display was shocking. Although there were rumors that he was vicious and unrivaled in the same realm, no one had expected it to have reached this level. I didn't expect him to be so powerful. Young Master Chang Chuan's expression was a bit dark. Last time, when he fought Ku Wuaya, he lost due to being cursed. Originally, he had been planning on making a comeback and fighting Ku Wuaya again. But unexpectedly, Ku Wuaya had become so terrifying. If he had possessed such a powerful physical body last time, then even without relying on his curse, he would have still defeated young master Chang Chuan. The current Ku Wuaya was practically a completely different person. The difference was enormous. Young Master Chang Chuan didn't know if it was because Ku Wuaya had been holding back last time, or if he had suddenly encountered some miracle that made his combat power soar. The axe then clattered to the ground, but Ku Wuaya didn't even bother picking it up. He only made a throat-cutting gesture toward Long Chen, revealing two rows of teeth at him with a sinister smile. Ku Wuaya was sent out. The battle was over in just two moves, one axe and one fist. However, it was one of the most shocking battles that everyone had witnessed. This was true power. Countless heavenly geniuses had come here to gain experience. Now they found that despite being called heavenly geniuses, there was far too great of a difference between them and Ku Wuaya. Just as he said, they were really as minuscule as ants. They looked from Ku Wuaya to Long Chen, who looked as indifferent as ever, as if nothing had happened. Now there will be a show. Long Chen won the Tao Discussion Convention, and he's also participating in the Martial Tao Convention. Many competitors are targeting him. There might be a good fight soon. Too many people are targeting him. There are the Chu family, Young Master Wuji, Ku Wuaya, as well as that final disciple of the Blood Kill Hall's master. Every single one of them is terrifying. I don't know how many Long Chen can beat. The main thing is that all of them want Long Chen's life. By killing him, they can snatch away his glory of being the Tao Discussion Convention's winner. It will also topple the principles that he discussed, proving that what he said is not reality. 
the newly won glory of the High Firmament Academy will be erased. Countless people discussed this new turn. Clearly, they didn't have high hopes for Long Chen. Although they greatly admired him, power was power. It had nothing to do with admiration. Ku Wuya's one fist had eclipsed Long Chen's power. Boss, Chin Fung looked at Long Chen. It's fine. When I run into him, I'll knock his teeth out. Long Chen smiled slightly. His words caused Bei Shishi and the others to jump. They looked at him in disbelief. Chapter 3115 Long Chen vs. Young Master Wu Ji Seeing Ku Wu Ai's terrifying physical body made Long Chen's blood heat up. A fierce battle intent rose within him. He had never seen such a terrifying physical body, but he also didn't feel any fear. Instead, he was excited. Only experts could make him feel such an intense urge to fight. Ha ha ha. I knew from long ago that my boss is unrivaled seeing that look in Long Chen's eyes. Chin Feng laughed. That old feeling was returning. After entering the immortal world, Long Chen had put away his sharpness. Today, it was slowly coming back. That confidence made Chin Feng feel like they had returned to the martial heaven continent, and Long Chen was once more leading them to run rampant over the world. His own blood boiled with excitement. It's too bad that I encountered boss too late. Otherwise, I'd have gotten into the top hundred as well. Chin Feng looked at his arm bracers with a bit of regret. Long Chen had given the two arm bracers to Chin Feng. With Bei Shishi's mother's help, he had managed to subdue them. So he was also protected by treasure items now. Just yesterday, Long Chen had fully expelled all the pill toxins in Chin Feng's body. And using medicinal pills, he had widened Chin Feng's meridians strengthening his power many times. Although he wasn't a primal, now his power was definitely not inferior to any primal. Adding on his combat experience, when Luo Qing exchanged blows with Qin Feng, she wasn't a match for him. The competition then continued. Young Master Chang Chuan, Bei Shishi, and Luo Xue went one after another. Luo Xue had to put in a great deal of effort to beat her opponent, but Young Master Chang Chuan and Bei Shishi easily won. Long Chen knew that Luo Xue had put on an intentional act of weakness for the Chu family's people to see. As for why she had done this, Long Chen didn't know, but she didn't say anything, so he didn't ask. After encountering Luo Qing and Luo Xue, he found that the Luo family's foundation was even deeper than he had imagined. However, the Luo family's arrogance was different from the Chu family's. They were deeply reserved, rarely displaying their power. After a while, the curtain to the second day's competition fell. Long Chen and the others then went back to their residences. Long Chen went into seclusion, telling them not to disturb him for nothing. He didn't even bother going to see the third day's battles. After the third day, the top 256 were born. They were given one day's rest before the next stage started. After that, the top 256 were going to be whittled down to the top 128. Long Chen, what's wrong with your eyes? When Long Chen finally came out of seclusion, Bei Shishi and the others jumped. His eyes were bleeding. I'm fine. Long Chen shook his eyes and didn't explain. A stabbing pain throbbed in his eyes, but his spirits were high. After countless experiments, he finally managed to control a trace of the purgatory eyes power. When the lots were drawn and Long Chen saw his opponent, he smiled. It's actually young master Wuji. Young Master Chang Chuan looked at his tablet and smiled. That bastard had finally run into them. Long Chen, don't be careless. Young Master Wu Ji can rampage so fearlessly not just because of his immense power. He also has many treacherous tricks. You might fall for one if you're not careful, warned Luo Xue. Although Young Master Wu Ji was hated by many people, he was still living a carefree life. Other than his sect's protection. His own power was just as terrifying. Many people were simply tricked by his outer appearance and thus fell for his tricks. That woman he had previously slain had been a powerful primal, but after failing with her first attack, she ended up falling into his palm. Since the anger that Long Chen had displayed back then was truly terrifying, Luo Xue was worried that he would jump into young master Wu Ji's trap even easier due to this anger. The fighting quickly started. The matches would be spread over two days. This time, the order of the fights was announced ahead of time. Long Chen was 17th, so his battle would be today. 
the battles today were even more intense. Multiple people were fighting to the death. According to the convention's rules, maliciously killing your opponent would cause you to be eliminated. However, after the Huaian Trading Company took over, they found that this was not one of the original rules. It was added in later, so this rule was basically disposed of. Killing your opponent was not against the rules. When Silver Moon City added this rule, it was entirely to their own benefit. It allowed them to eliminate powerful opponents under the guise of maliciousness. After all, whether or not it was malicious was entirely up to them. This rule was abolished for now to make it fair. However, the battle also became bloodier. For the rewards, for fame, the competitors fought with their lives on the line. The path of cultivation was one of no retreat, and no one was willing to fail. Those who had managed to reach this point were peak heavenly geniuses, existences said to be unrivaled in the same realm. Every single one of them possessed their own pride, so they would rather die than fail. Long Chen's turn came quickly. When he appeared on the martial stage, cheers rang out. Boss San, kill that trash, rip him into ten thousand pieces, wring his head off and stuff it up his ass. Countless people hated young master Wuji for his previous actions, so they all hoped for Long Chen to kill him. Young master Wuji also appeared on the martial stage. As a torrent of curses rained upon him, he sneered, they all have such high expectations for you. It's too bad that such a beautiful imagination will never manifest. I have 10,000 ways to kill you. I only need one for you, said Long Chen coldly. He truly wished to act indifferent and relax a bit, but he was unable to suppress the killing intent welling up inside him. Ha ha ha. Do you think that this is the Tao discussion convention? That you can pass just by talking glibly? We are competing with true power here, not theories on paper. Even if your words could cause the heavens to rain flowers, it won't change the fact that you'll be defeated by me here. He, but there's one point that I admire you for. You have so many beautiful women surrounding you. Don't worry, once you're dead, I love them so much that they hurt. Especially that one called Beishishi. Ha ha ha. Young Master Wuji smiled lecherously at Beishishi and the others. Courting death. Beishishi's face was ice cold. Killing intent surging out of her. Not good. Long Chen has fallen for his trap, said Luo Shue heavily. Chapter 3116 Heavenly Flame Prison What everyone was startled. What trap had he fallen into? Just look at his expression. He's already clenching his fists, and his veins are throbbing. He's furious. Young Master Wuji is intentionally provoking him so that when the fight starts, his fighting style will be simple and explosive. Young Master Wuji definitely prepared countless traps for him to jump into. I even warned Long Chen so that he would be mentally prepared. But as soon as Young Master Wuji mentioned Fairy Shishi, he was unable to control his emotions, said Luo Shue. Bei Shishi was stunned. Looking at Long Chen, she saw his gloomy expression. Dark lines could vaguely be seen in his eyes. He cares about me this much. Bei Shishi was startled. A feeling that she had never felt before welled up inside her. She thought of a certain thing that her mother had mentioned to her. That's not good. Once brother San gets angry, he has no misjivings at all. If young master Wuji uses the same move that he did before, he really might fall for it, said Mu Kingayan. I say, you're all worrying for nothing. You don't understand my boss. His anger impacts his intellect but not his combat abilities. Just watch said Chin Fang. These people were worried for Long Chen? What kind of joke was that? Are you angry? You can't even control your emotions. Someone like you can be called an expert? How laughable. In this kind of battle, you will simply die. Kneel and repent to me and I can spare your life though, said young master Wuji. It seemed that Long Chen wasn't as powerful as he had imagined. You really know how to anger others, but you've chosen the wrong target. You shouldn't have angered me. Long Chen's voice was a bit hoarse. A certain kind of energy within his body began to stir. The dark power was attempting to control Long Chen's body. Control his soul. It wanted to be unleashed. After repeated experiments, Long Chen found that restraining himself only nourished that power. The more he restrained himself, the more active that power became. Long Chen then intentionally suppressed his anger and found that even his voice had changed. 
This voice was emotionless and merciless. Even he didn't recognize it. Ha ha ha. With death at hand. Your mouth is still tough. Fine. Then I'll show you my true abilities today. Young Master Wuji raised his head and laughed. The barrier between them vanished. Young Master Wuji rapidly formed hand seals. And Grand Dao flowers bloomed around him. They were a blaze of purples and reds. Hiding him within. Long Chen didn't charge in directly Luo Shue was pleasantly surprised. They had expected him to charge right in. Young Master Wuji had expected this as well. And that was what these flowers were for. This was one of the Flower Butterfly School's secret arts. Once detonated, they would become a powerful poison. Furthermore, every flower contained a different poison. Coward. You don't even have the courage to attack? You should just smash your head into the stage and kill yourself. Long Chen's lack of action was outside of young Master Wuji's expectations. Appearing above the sea of flowers, he sneered. That's about enough. Long Chen slowly formed hand seals. As a result, red flames soared out of Long Chen, instantly filling the entire martial stage. These flames shocked countless people. They were entirely unaware that Long Chen was actually a flame element cultivator. The sea of flames clashed against heaven and earth, enveloping young master Wuji. You dare to take out a bit of fire to embarrass yourself? Did your master only teach you this little bit of ability sneered young master Wuji. The flowers around him blocked the flames. Long Chen ignored him, and the flames continued to soar. Space twisted, but they were still powerless against young master Wuji. That young master Wuji really is sinister. He doesn't dare to take the initiative in attacking. Afraid that Long Chen will grasp that chance to kill him. His trap lies around defending and drawing Long Chen in. With that, he has the highest chance of victory, said Luo Shue. Did your father and mother give birth to you just so that you could embarrass yourself? If you have the gods, come at me. Young Master Wuji constantly provoked Long Chen, saying all kinds of ugly words. Suddenly, Long Chen looked at Young Master Wuji. When a black mark appeared in his eyes, Young Master Wuji's hair stood on end. He felt like he had fallen into an iceberg. His entire body was cold. It was like an ancient beast had set its gaze on him, and he was too scared to even move. Just at this moment, the countless flames within the martial stage transformed, condensing into flame chains. Heavenly flame prison. Flame chains shot through the air. Binding young master Wuji instantly. He tried to struggle. But he found that these chains were incredibly tough. They also contained the laws of a grand Dao. And he was unable to break them. After binding young master Wuji. Long Chen appeared in front of him while wielding a flame sword in his hand. He then slashed it down and cut off young master Wuji's arm. That arm was instantly incinerated by the flames. You want to admit defeat? Do you think that's possible? Long Chen's voice was ice cold. It was as if it came from a soul reaper from hell. Young Master Wuji had tried to admit defeat just now, but Long Chen didn't give him that chance. He cut off his arm holding the tablet, making him unable to activate it. No, you can't kill me. If you kill me, any trace of Young Master Wuji's calm vanished. He cried out in terror. Long Chen's flame sword stabbed into his leg. Ah. A miserable scream interrupted young master Wuji's words. With his power, just being stabbed in the leg shouldn't be so unbearable. Hence, that miserable scream caused countless disdainful gazes to be cast his way. But those people were unaware that Long Chen was skilled in this regard. This sword was stabbed in precisely the place that caused the most pain. He deserves it. Kill him, Boss San. Make sure he doesn't have a quick death. That's right. This fellow has done countless wicked things. Killing him would be letting him off too easy. Countless cheers rang out. Young Master Wuji was truly hated. Stop. Just at this moment, a resounding beast-like row rang out, shaking people's ears and making stars spin in their eyes. They instantly fell silent and turned toward the source. The Flower Butterfly Patriarch Chapter 3117 Karmic Flames Refine the Soul An Elder had appeared in the air and shouted at the martial stage. He was above the outer spectator stand, but his voice still transmitted straight through the barrier and into the formation. Those in the inner stand were the competitors, and the outer stand was for those who had come to watch. Beishishi's mother might be leading the High Firmament Academy's competitors. But even she was forced to watch from the outer spectator stand. 
This flower butterfly patriarch held an exceedingly high position in the flower butterfly school. He was three generations of seniority above the current sect master. Also, young master Wuji was someone he viewed highly. So naturally, he pampered him and looked after him, resulting in young master Wuji acting like nothing was taboo. Even the sect master couldn't suppress him. The flower butterfly patriarch was once an expert that had shaken the nine prefectures. He had committed countless atrocities with no one capable of stopping him. Hence, countless people cried out when he appeared. Release Wuji. Otherwise, I will crush you. Shouted the flower butterfly patriarch at Long Chen. The High Firmament Academy's experts were enraged when they heard this. This fellow actually dared to interfere in the competition. Big words. I just worry about whether you have that ability. A cool voice rang out. It was Bei Shishi's mother. The flower butterfly patriarch was threatening Long Chen. While Bei Shishi's mother had spoken up in support of Long Chen, the two of them were instantly thrown against each other. However, Long Chen completely ignored the flower butterfly patriarch's threat. Even if Bei Shishi's mother hadn't spoken up for him, nothing would have changed. After that, he once more stabbed his sword into young master Wuji's leg. Ahh young master Wuji screamed, and it gave others goosebumps. His face was twisted, and his whole body shuddered. They could only imagine what kind of pain he was suffering. This time, not one person cheered for Long Chen. That was due to the flower butterfly patriarch. They didn't want to make trouble for themselves or their sects, but they cheered inside. Long Chen, are you trying to die? roared the flower butterfly patriarch. As a result, Long Chen expressionlessly stabbed his flame sword into young master Wuji's shoulder. The latter then screamed once more, his eyes bulging. Long Chen, if you dare to kill me, you and your sect will all suffer the flower butterfly school's bloody retribution. You and your family, they will all die miserable deaths. Ah, young master Wuji screamed again as Long Chen stabbed him in the shoulder once more. Every stab from Long Chen's sword gave young master Wuji unbearable pain. The pain was even gradually progressing but slow enough that he wouldn't pass out. Spare me. Boss San, Dad San, you're my father, okay? I'm willing to be your servant, please, let me off. When threatening failed, young master Wuji switched to begging. His will completely crumbled and he began to weep. At this moment, Long Chen's expression slowly grew calm, and the flames of fury in his heart gradually faded. The dark energy within him also settled. This dark energy was the result of his negative emotions accumulating. If he wanted to relieve it, he had to unleash his anger. If he wanted to maintain control, he had to unleash these negative emotions. This was also what the dragon expert had said, that he couldn't bottle it up forever. Countless experts looked at young master Wuji's begging with disdain. Long Chen then spread his arms, and countless flame runes appeared, condensing into a new sword. Long Chen expressionlessly said, You only understand pain when a sword stabs through your body. Only with death at hand do you understand how precious life is. When you trampled over other people's dignity and took their lives, did you think about their desire to live? You viewed their lives as nothing more than blades of grass, thinking that you were strong enough to take their lives. Someone like you isn't fit to live in this world. I told you that I would make you regret being born in this world. Repent for your sins with this pain. Long Chen's sword then stabbed into young master Wuji's danshan. There were now five flame swords stabbed into young master Wuji's body, and they all lit up. The multicolored flames twisted into flame dragons that ran rampant through his body. Ahhh, young master Wuji screamed. It seemed that the pain had multiplied countless times, and it made the spectator's hair rise on end. This is karmic flames refining the soul. How can he know this move? In the outer stand, an elder cried out in shock. What is karmic flames refining the soul? Asked someone nearby. It is the flames of the heavenly deos questioning a soul. Excavating all the evils that they have buried deep in their soul. This is a kind of heavenly Tao art specialized against those that are wicked beyond redemption. But this kind of technique was said to be lost. How can Long Chen use it at such an age? Someone interjected. Karmic flames refining the soul is a technique that directly enters the heart. The shame and fear in the inner heart will transform into pain. Even if your soul extinguishes, 
Even if your longevity reaches an end, even if your essence, chi, and spirit are all gone, you still won't die. You have to wait until all your sins are incinerated before you are free. Furthermore, if you have too many sins, your soul will dissipate and not enter the cycle of reincarnation. When the spectators heard this, their hearts shook. After all, who hadn't done bad things in their life? Beads of sweat rolled down their backs. Long Chen, I told you to spare him, shouted Flower Butterfly Patriarch, charging toward the stage. Just at this moment, divine light exploded, striking the Flower Butterfly Patriarch. As a result, his expression completely changed, and he unleashed a palm. Boom. As the Flower Butterfly Patriarch's arm exploded, blood rained down. Moreover, he was sent flying while coughing up blood. The various experts present were stunned. That was a Divine Lord Realm expert, but he was injured by the formation as soon as he approached it. What an idiot. Does he think that Silver Moon City is still in charge of everything? The control over the martial stage has been handed to the Huaian Trading Company. It is the martial stage itself carrying out the rules. The fact that he wasn't killed for this infraction is thanks to his luck sneered someone. Just like the Tao discussion stage, this martial stage had its own item spirit, and it was carrying out its ancient laws. If anyone dared to interfere in this, it would unleash its attack. However, previously, it had been controlled by Silver Moon City's people, and so there had essentially never been a case of the martial stage unleashing an attack. But it was different now. Boom. Just at this moment, Young Master Wuji exploded and his soul dispersed, transforming into nothingness. He disappeared from heaven and earth just like this. Long Chen, if I don't grind your bones to dust, I swear that I'm not human, roared the Flower Butterfly Patriarch. Chapter 3118 Gui Yun appears on stage you aren't human anyway, so who cares? Just wait. When I get back, I will destroy your Flower Butterfly School. After killing young master Wuji, Long Chen was in an excellent mood. So, he replied to the flower butterfly patriarch before being sent out. Boss, that was amazing, exclaimed Baziol worshipfully. Young master Wuji's death was truly relieving. It really was satisfying. That bastard finally met his retribution, said Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen had won, smoothly advancing into the top 128. He then checked on Baziol's opponent, seeing that it wasn't a supreme existence. He said goodbye and went into seclusion once more. After killing young master Wuji, he directly left, not even watching the upcoming battles. It caused quite a few people to wonder if his heavenly flame prison had resulted in some kind of backlash that he needed to recover from. The reason they guessed this was due to just how powerful it was. Young master Wuji was extremely powerful but he had still been trapped and could only await his death. For such a strong skill to have a backlash was normal. What they didn't know was that as long as Long Chen summoned Huo Long, he could instantly capture young master Wuji. However, the reason he had done this was to mislead people, making them think that the Heavenly Flame Prison was not such an easy move to use. Before unleashing the Heavenly Flame Prison, he had stealthily spread flame runes into every corner of the martial stage. Once it was saturated, he unleashed the technique, trapping young master Wuji. Back then, young master Wuji was on the stage and couldn't see it, but the experts watching from outside would have been able to tell. This was something that Long Chen had intentionally shown them just to avoid exposing Huo Long's power. Huo Long had already grown to an absolutely terrifying level. Even Long Chen was shocked. It was now growing increasingly familiar with the immortal world's laws so it could use flame divine abilities almost instantly. An insignificant young master Wuji wasn't worth him exposing Huo Long. Long Chen then returned to his residence safely. He didn't need to worry about his safety in Silver Moon City because the Huaian Trading Company was now in charge, and no one dared to kill him here. Although the Huaian Trading Company was a commerce business, they also possessed immense martial power. Their wealth was growing alongside their martial force. If you possessed only wealth and no martial power, there was no way you could survive in the immortal world. Thus, Long Chen wasn't worried about the Flower Butterfly Patriarch's reprisal in Silver Moon City. As expected, Bei Shishi, Young Master Changchuan, and Bei Ziaol easily passed. 
Bei Shishi and young master Chang Chuan relied on their immense power, while Bei Ziyol relied on his eyes. Just as Long Chen said, Bei Ziyol's eyes were monstrous. When his spatial energy activated, spastime was thrown into chaos to the point that others couldn't even touch him. Once they were trapped, they could only admit defeat. Up until now, no one had managed to find a way to break the three flower pupils. Countless people envied this divine ability, so no one wanted to end up matched against him. While Bei Shishi, young master Chang Chuan, and Bei Ziyol easily passed through, Luo Shua didn't pass so smoothly. She had exchanged injury for injury with her opponent, just narrowly managing to pass. The opponent was one of their enemies and extremely ferocious. Hence, Luo Shua brushed up against death multiple times. Just watching her fight made Luo Bing and the others' hearts clench. But ultimately, it was Luo Shua who won. They had all managed to get into the top 128. If they won the next battle, they would obtain a huge reward. According to the information distributed by the Huaian Trading Company, this reward included immortal crystals, medicinal pills, secret tomes, weapons, etc. Anything you wanted, you could pick yourself. This was a huge opportunity, particularly for Luo Shue. Despite the Luo family's reputation, their disciples were not freely given wealth to squander. So, Luo Shue didn't have a single treasure item. As long as she passed the next round, she could select a treasure item for herself. Because of this, she immediately consumed a medicinal pill to heal in preparation for the next round. Unexpectedly, the one to fight after Luo Shue was actually Ku Wuaya. But even before he stepped onto the stage, his opponent directly admitted defeat. Ku Wuaya probably won't be fighting for a few rounds now, sighed Luo Bing. Everyone nodded. Ku Wuaya was absolutely terrifying. The way that he had used his physical body to receive the attack of a treasure item had shaken everyone. No one wanted to match up against him. Gui Yun has appeared. After Ku Wuaya, the next one was Gui Yun. But this time, Gui Yun's opponent didn't immediately give up. Clearly, he was extremely confident in himself to dare to fight him. It's too bad that Long Chen isn't here. It's a rare chance to see Gui Yun fight, said Luo Ning. Boss can't be bothered to waste his time on that. We'll watch for him, said Qin Feng with a smile. He truly understands Long Chen. He never wasted his time investigating his opponents. That's Zhou Changfeng, the Moonlight Manor's young master. He awakened his primal bloodline at the age of 16, and his wind element power allows him to strike like the wind and move like lightning. No wonder he dares to fight Gui Yun. He specializes in speed. I heard that this person has been attacked by multiple assassins of the Blood Kill Hall, and he killed them all. This is probably why he dares to challenge Gui Yun, said Lu Mingxuan checking, a jade tablet in her hand. Where did you get this information from? asked Qin Feng. Lu Mingxuan rolled her eyes. Naturally I bought it. Do you think someone would just give it to me? When did you buy it? Why didn't we know? Asked Luo Bing with a hint of suspicion. Aya, you are all foolish. There are people specifically selling information. I can just buy a single jade tablet. And when I see someone I want information on, I'll just pay the money. And the report will appear on the tablet. Said Lu Mingxuan. Bei Shishi said. We're not foolish. It's just that we don't have your money. We can't compare to your Lu family's wealth. He. What do you mean my Lu family? You have half the Lu family's blood in you. You don't have money because you're stubborn. Your grandfather offered you money, but you rejected it, said Lu Mingxuan. I'm ignoring you. Bei Shishi turned away, not wanting to discuss this matter. On the martial stage, Zhou Changfeng had taken out a saber. It was translucent, and when it appeared, a wind manifested on the stage. This was a wind attribute divine weapon that perfectly matched him. This treasure item could only unleash its full potential in his hands. Although many people had appeared on the stage with a treasure item, not one of them was capable of unleashing the full power of a treasure item. That was due to them having clashing natures, or being unable to activate their treasure item's potential. Gui Yun, your blood kill hall has gone too far. Do you think that no one dares to fight you? The blood kill hall has attempted to assassinate me seven times. 
But I've killed all those assassins. I also killed five pieces of trash from the Blood Kill Hall on the Marshall stage. Today, I'll show everyone that the Blood Kill Hall's reputation of being assassination gods is dog shit. In front of my speed, you are all trash, shouted Zhou Changfang, pointing his saber at Ji Yui Yan. It seems that you specialize in speed? Then it might be interesting. A faint smile appeared on Ji Yui Yan's plump face, as the barrier between them vanished. Zhou Changfeng instantly disappeared from his location and appeared behind Ji Yui Yan. What speed? Everyone was shocked, and even Bei Shishi was moved. She had never seen such speed. Chapter 3119 The terrifying Ji Yui Yan Zhou Changfeng's speed was shocking. By the time that they saw him move, he was already behind Ji Yui Yan and attacking. Ji Yui Yan's body was cut in two, but no blood came from his neck. After that, People clearly saw two Gui Yuns, and the second Gui Yun was holding Zhou Changfeng's head. What Zhou Changfeng's headless corpse collapsed. The instant that his head was cut off, the flame of his soul was extinguished. He was already dead. At that moment, the first Gui Yun vanished. It had happened all too fast. The real Gui Yun was already standing behind Zhou Changfeng by the time he attacked. So the first Gui Yan was nothing more than an afterimage. What kind of speed is that? Bei Ziyol felt a chill. With that kind of speed, he wouldn't even be able to activate his three flower pupils before being slain. We didn't even see his weapon, said Lu Mingxuan, her voice quivering. This Gui Yan was absolutely terrifying. Zhou Changfeng was a wind element expert with shocking speed. If she were to encounter him, she would definitely be at a disadvantage and unable to keep up with him. She might even be slain in one move. Such speed. Such a sharp attack. They were all nothing in the face of Ji Yui Yan. He cut off Zhou Changfeng's head just like that. Zhou Changfeng was fast. But Ji Yui Yan couldn't even be described as just fast. This kind of movement art didn't even make sense. It was absolutely bizarre. Who could block such a thing? It seems that your speed was too slow. Ji Yui Yun loosened his grip, and Zhou Changfeng's head fell to the ground. A generation's expert died just like this, leaving everyone deathly silent. Many people knew of Ji Yui Yun. Their elders had warned them to admit defeat if they encountered him. They didn't like it, but their elders sternly warned them that anyone who didn't listen would be expelled. Hence, those that encountered him had no choice but to immediately admit defeat. However, when those people saw Ji Yui Yun fight, they blessed their luck. Many experts had also thought about testing themselves against Ji Yui Yun if they encountered him. Now, they felt a chill. Ji Yui Yun wasn't tall. He was also a bit pudgy. However, this seemingly slow fatty actually possessed such terrifying speed. Someone who could make Imputa break his word and accept him as another final disciple can't be ordinary. This is normal. Don't worry. Whether it's Ji Yui Yun or Ku Wuya, they will definitely end up fighting against my boss sooner or later, said Qin Feng. Imputa naturally wouldn't take someone ordinary as his disciple. You aren't worried for your boss, asked Lu Mingxuan. What is there to worry about? Just remember that boss is unrivaled. You're worried for him because you don't understand him. Boss is truly Loki. He hides his true power deeply. He... These two fellows will probably be able to force Boss to take out his real power. Just wait to watch a good show, said Qin Feng with a laugh. He had followed Long Chen for many years and truly understood him. Thinking of how he would get to see Long Chen go all out again, he felt his blood heating up. Seeing Lu Mingxuan and the others actually worry about him, he particularly wanted to see their shocked expressions. To use Guo Ran's words, I like to see your expressions the most when you realize just how small the world that you've seen is. Although Qin Feng had absolute confidence in Long Chen, Lu Mingxuan and the others didn't quite dare to believe it. Whether it was Ku Wuai or Ji Yui Yun, they were both so powerful that they exceeded the limits of humanity. They were monsters. I just hope that I don't encounter someone like that in my next match. Otherwise, my path to the top hundred will be cut off. Luo Shue bitterly smiled. Other than Ku Wuya and Ji Yui Yun, there were also that zither woman and the woman who could activate heavenly Tao energy without forming hand seals. She would have to directly admit defeat upon encountering them. 
She didn't even wish to fight a bit with them. Moreover, there were also others that she didn't have much confidence against. Since there were no longer any weaklings, every victory would come at a price. After the two days of fighting, they were given another day of rest before the martial stage was open once more. Only then did Long Chen come out of seclusion. When he came out, Bei Shishi and the others were shocked by his appearance once. They felt a sharpness from him that made him seem like a sword that had been unsheathed. Novaloon.com What have you been doing lately? How is your aura changing so much? Asked Bei Shishi. Long Chen's aura had been changing so much that it felt foreign. I've been researching a heaven-defying battle skill. Just now, I finally managed to figure it out. It can't be considered mastered yet. So I still have that aura on me for now, said Long Chen with a smile. His mood was particularly good now. After repeated tests, he finally managed to figure out a way of integrating the first form of split the heavens with the immortal world's laws. He had tested it inside of him, and although there were some minor flaws, he was definitely capable of using it. The will of split the heavens was also manifested. It was sharp and domineering. He would need some time to retract it. Let's go. Today's the day to decide who gets into the top 64. Hopefully, the five of us can all get in, said Bei Shishi. If only, Luo Shue knew that Bei Shishi was referring to her. That was because as long as Bei Shishi, Long Chen, Young Master Chang Chuan, and Bei Xiaol didn't encounter a few select people, there would be no suspense. Only she had to pray. Don't feel too much pressure. It's not like you're the main force of the Luo family either. It's not on you to carry this burden. You also don't need to worry about the Luo family's future. I guarantee with my life that the Luo family's future will only improve. Long Chen patted Luo Zhu's shoulder and grinned. Other than Luo King Guiang, Long Chen felt particularly close to the other members of the Luo family. He didn't know if it was a bloodline connection or something else. But in any case, if Luo Bing, Luo Ning, or the others had some difficulty, he would use his life to protect them. Luo Xue smiled and nodded. This simple smile from Long Chen instantly made her feel less pressured. Lu Mingxuan curled her lips. He, you're going too far. Why do you act so intimate with her but not me? Dirty God. Long Chen glared at her. There was no saving this woman. It always felt like her words led to some trap. Long Chen and the others once more came to the martial stage. They received an exceptionally intense cheering from the High Firmament Academy's disciples. When Long Chen smiled and waved at them, the cheering grew even more intense. Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Kei, and the others in particular shouted until their throats were sore. Long Chen and the others had all entered the top 128. The academy hadn't gotten such a good record in many years. Furthermore, everyone could tell that whether it was Long Chen, Bei Shishi, or young master Chang Chuan, they were still holding back. They could definitely continue going for a higher ranking. The lots were once more drawn. Long Chen and the others' tablets flashed. Ha ha ha. When Long Chen saw his opponent, he couldn't help raising his head and laughing. Chu Shuang Bei Shishi and the others checked and also smiled. Long Chen's luck really was good. It seemed that his wish had come true. Chapter 3120 World Blood Slash Ha ha. I didn't encounter any of those monsters. I can get into the top 64, exclaimed Bei Ziaol excitedly. He was full of confidence since he saw that his opponent wasn't Gui Yun, Ku Wuya, or one of those monsters. Bei Shishi, Young Master Chang Chuan, and Luo Xue were also lucky enough to not encounter any supreme experts. Other than that, Luo Xue was not relaxed enough to fight without such a heavy sense of burden. Be more cautious or the entire boat will flip said Long Chen when he saw Bei Shishi looking expressionless. You're the one who should be careful. Bei Shishi rolled her eyes at him, immediately understanding that he was teasing her. He, I'm not the one who needs to be careful. It's those fellows from the Chu family who should be careful, said Long Chen. The martial stage was quickly activated. The Huaian Trading Company wasn't carrying out all the extra formalities and such that wasted time. They were holding this convention simply and directly. This stage would decide who got an ample reward. So everyone would be going all out. Millions of experts had been winnowed down to these few people. And not one remaining competitor was a weakling. 
This wasn't just for the reward. It was for the glory, the glory of themselves and the glory of their sects. The competition had been made fair thanks to Long Chen, so they naturally had to go all out. If it was like past conventions, then the ones in charge would secretly twist things so that certain experts that could have gotten into the top hundred would run into monsters like Ku Wuya and Ji Yuan. Like this, they could eliminate the participants and keep the rewards for themselves. Furthermore, even if outsiders did manage to get to this point, after so much fighting, they would probably be injured or not in peak condition. They couldn't possibly handle a peak expert. However, due to the fuss that Long Chen had made, the Huaian Trading Company became the one in charge, and everything happened fairly. Now, everyone would be fighting for the rewards based on their power. This was a precious opportunity. Luo Zhu's turn came quickly, so Long Chen gave her a thumbs up as encouragement. She then nodded and appeared on the martial stage. Her opponent was an exceptionally built man. His skin was dark, and his eyes were electric. As soon as he appeared on the stage, he summoned his manifestation. As a result, divine light flowed and dust filled the air. A manifestation of sand and dust covered his side of the martial stage in a layer of haze. It's an earth element expert. Luo King's expression grew serious. All earth element experts had stamina and defensive power. So to defeat an earth element expert within the allotted time was very difficult. Luo Shue also summoned her manifestation. The Luo family's primals didn't have the same manifestation, but there was one particular commonality. All their manifestations had violet chi within them, that was related to their bloodline. Legend had it that the Luo family's inheritance could be traced back to ancient times, a so-called violet bloodline from the desolate era. There was a legend that the desolate era's violet blood race was capable of destroying the heavens with a wave of a hand, of splitting the earth with a single finger. They were one of the first to control the heavenly deos and condense magical arts. Their fame was only slightly inferior to the legendary Jiuli race. However, there was naturally a huge difference between the Luo family's violet blood and that legendary violet blood. Thus, the Luo family was not recognized as part of the violet blood race. They simply had some similarities. The legendary violet blood race definitely wouldn't be so weak. Even so. The Luo family's violet blood was still very powerful. The violet chi merged into heaven and earth, allowing them to replenish themselves with the power of the heavenly deos. They were capable of fighting longer with this. Furthermore, the Luo family's cultivation techniques were specially developed to merge the power of their bloodline and heavenly dao energy. It was a kind of cultivation style in between immortal and god cultivation. As Luo Shue was surrounded by violet chi, her blood chi soared. Her half of the martial stage was inundated with violet blood chi. One half of the martial stage was filled with dust and sand, and the other half was filled with violet chi. Only the central barrier separated them. At this moment, spatial rumbling shook the stage. It was a shocking sight. My mother is also part of the Luo family. Theoretically, my mother's bloodline is even stronger than my father's. So why don't I have any violet chi in my bloodline? Long Chen sank into thought. His mother was an expert from the immortal world, and he should have inherited her bloodline. But there wasn't the slightest violet chi in his body, even if his spirit blood was taken, unless he died. Such a powerful bloodline should have the ability to be reborn. Novaloon.com Long Chen rubbed his jade pendant. The dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly on the mortal world of dust. Live peacefully and happily, never to be parted. He thought of the voices he had heard back then. His mother wanted him to live a peaceful life. She didn't want him to be drawn into the dangerous cultivation world. His mother detested this world full of killing and just wanted an ordinary life. Regretfully, life was just like that merciless hand that had taken everything from him. Even having escaped the immortal world, she was unable to escape fate. Their family of three was left in chaos. Boom. An explosion drew Long Chen out of his thoughts and back to reality. Luo Shue and the earth element expert had started fighting. At this moment, Violet Chi and Heavy Earth raged. A giant beast came out of the earth. It had four thick limbs and a long tail. And there was a tortoise shell on it. It looked to be a cross between an alligator and a tortoise. It opened its mouth. And a ray of dark gold divine light shot out. 
Inside that light, they could clearly see Luo Zhu's opponent. He was borrowing that beast's power to launch himself at Luo Shue. A giant hammer then thundered toward her. Luo Zhu's left hand was in a seal, while she slashed the sword in her right hand repeatedly. She unleashed 81 slashes, leaving a line of violet chi, layering on top of each other. They formed a giant net. The violet chi was smashed apart by the hammer, but the hammer's speed was sharply reduced. When the hammer fell, violet chi burst out of Luo Shue. Her sword then struck the hammer and shattered. Although her violet chi had reduced the hammer's power, that hammer was a treasure item, while her sword was only a top-grade spirit item. As the difference was too great and she couldn't protect her sword, she was sent flying, coughing up blood. In that instant, her aura plummeted and her face turned as white as paper. Even the flame of her life weakened. Long Chen, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others' expressions changed. Just at this moment, a cry came from Luo Shue. Violet Chi from the East. World Blood Slash. Luo Zhu's pale face was heavy. She formed hand seals, and the blood that she had just spat out transformed into a sharp sword. At this moment, even her manifestation vanished. All the violet chi was sucked into that blood sword, and it slashed toward her opponent like a violet streak of lightning.